This episode brought to you by Barbara. I told you they were coming, Barbara. I warned you and I warned you. Did you think I was joking? Hey, everybody, we're watching Dawn of the Dead and you are listening to Miscast Commentary. Oh, yeah. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Where two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to Miss Cat's Commentary. I'm Joe Findlay. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we are going to the depths of the 70s horror genre. Oh yeah. When you press play, <clears throat> don't press it now, we are going to see some shag carpet. Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's my- shag. I'm pretty sure that was the song that was in the trailer, right? I think that's exactly the song that was in the trailer. So yeah, we're going to get into this one. Might as well get started right now. So we are going to go ahead and press Watch play. It, eh? Get that shag. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> caught myself again. We're not watching the preview. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I thought we were doing something there. I just see the whole, we, we flipped things around. Yeah. It's all good. There she is. Look at the shag on that one. Does the carpet match <laughs> the drapes, girl? Woo! She being, somebody's Ugh. going down on her. So right off the bat, this guy who's um who just woke her up there is actually uh, George Romero's brother-in-law. It is? Yeah. They just got him. Oh, they? well, you know, he was there. They had to film all. They're freaking out. Yeah. The bulk of the people who are in this are just friends of crew and so, so this takes place after night of the living dead um yes and no they Is don't it, actually are really... they are there zombies yet or are they coming zombies exist yeah so they know of it yes. that's why they're all looking depressed and like oh what's up mm-hmm. am i gonna be in this shag carpet forever yeah if you really if you follow like some sort of timeline they don't say this takes place after it there's nothing that says oh right. well, this happened there's then this no happened. but it basically the same universe by following the logic of what's going on you kind of get it uh oh it looks like it's just there's a, okay well maybe they haven't seen it themselves but they're they're hearing reports yeah Ooh man oh, yeah, neil degrasse tyson looked pissed you know <laughs> <laughs> he always does i know are you looking forward to the zombie apocalypse or no? You know, a lot of people are yeah. actually like, hey, I can't wait because I could show off my moves. You know? I know. Like, we, we talked about that yeah. a little in the last one. Yeah, there's a, there's a, co- there's a course. There's a university yeah. course somewhere there about zombie apocalypse awareness or something. I don't know what it is. Ooh, uh, special makeup and cosmetic effects by Tom Savini. But I noticed that this, the backup was Nancy Allen. I wonder if that's Nancy Allen from uh, Robocop's, Robocop's partner. Good call. Uh, I think she's a good partner in anything, there's pro- man. There's probably a way to figure that out. That was George Romero there, who was the director. Where? Right uh, there in the plaid shirt? No, no. There on the left. There's a lot of beards discussing <laughs> things here. These people yeah. are not high up. Oh, they're the media. That's why. It's, Look at these lefties. It, it, it's a George Lucas lookalike. Oh, we got like Spielberg and Lucas yeah. were in there. there guy, yeah, he was He was there. You saw him directing. I just, I keep... Missing him. But I, this is what our studio looks like, people. If you're yeah. thinking like mm-hmm. we got this huge space, this guy in the plaid shirt's pointing, and eh, look, he quits every day. <laughs> he keeps coming back. Yeah. Actually, what's really funny is that that looks almost identical to our uh, first year studio when I went to college. For real? Yeah. It wasn't quite that big, but or sorry, no, our second year studio. Whoa. I like because this is the first one that really like gave you some kind of like. Um, educated description of what was going on before it was just they're coming for us and that was kind of it and then right. they were like, well, I like and that then though, they would kind of describe like, well if you don't know just but, upon you and you're like but, oh my god i don't even know what's going on here but again now we've got people who have some idea of what's going on they're saying hey whatever you see dario argento's name was in the credits there is that the dario argento uh, it is the dario argento not only his band his, or something his brother well it's a couple things his brother is the producer of this movie um Dario Argento and his band, The Goblins, uh, scored the movie. Okay, he probably does the score for all his own movies too, probably, yep. right? And as part of a deal, 
he made a deal as uh, for working because um, George Romero went to Rome and wrote this movie and got input from Dario Argento, Argento, but he didn't actually like have a hand in writing the movie. He just kind of like just gave some feedback, just bounced stuff off him and right. stuff like that. And in return for all that, he got the rights for European distribution, which is when he recut the movie and released it as a, as a zombie in Europe. Uh, if you have is that the, what zombie is? Yeah, it's a cut of this. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's another movie. I th- maybe not I there because there's another movie called Zombie, but I think that that one was released. It's it's all yeah okay, but it's pretty yeah. close. Yeah, but if you um if you have the special edition uh, DVD of this, it comes with both cuts. Oh, neat. Um, was it was Buddy okay? Was George A. Romero okay with his cut him cutting it and stuff? Yeah, they have a lot of respect for each other. They're like the same you know, age. They're the if you. Uh, oh, look like at this! This guy's all right, eh? With the leather jacket on. Uh-huh. If you are it's friends with Dario Argento and you yeah. make a deal like that, you also get to film his yeah. daughter naked. Yeah, but he has to be in the room. Yes, that's the rules, right yes. there, buddy. And he will encourage you to touch her. That's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that like giving your own daughter naked in your own movie. Yeah, I feel like Coppola was one step away from doing that in Godfather <laughs> Three. He was like, okay, I didn't realize. I just learned today that in Godfather Three, the reason she was in it is because Winona Ryder had to drop out. No shit. I just good good trivia for some different ah. movie. But yeah, I just learned you just that ruined today. that one. Yeah, and that's the only reason she was in it. Um, they they both have the same kind of bulgy eyes. They could be brother and sister. These two. Yeah, and I like that this guy. He I, I, take the I feel like that guy just played the gay guy in Fame. He you know this guy's like <laughs> yeah. oh he heard you say that see that <laughs> ooh see that shade he just fucking threw your way. Yeah. Woo. I, Connor to say shade, yeah, right? Hey, I throw shade underhand. So nobody's shaded. really that bothered by me. What is it like? Like my words are so heavy and so oppressive that they are, you're in the shade under them. What, what is like, uh, you've been uh, throwing shade. I don't know. Everybody's an asshole. A now. Shade a drink. Can, People make like up, a new drink that I'm throwing shade well, your way. I don't know. It's like, like, uh, like the world's most expensive champagne, whatever it is. It's, or maybe it's cause you're putting yourself in the spotlight and therefore putting shade on uh, you. I don't know. We're going to get to the bottom of this. There's a movie going on in the background. Huh? You don't remember, you a don't movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the scene which is my favorite in the movie because it's not about fighting zombies. It's about attacking poor Mexicans. Yeah, they're not in the whole zombie thing, right? These guys, right? They have a separate thing going on right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my Lord. Yes. Gotta, Buddy coming up. Oh, yeah. I forgot Here about is. that. I got to get your Puerto Rican ass. <laughs> But you know, because he, does, he doesn't say anything racist right He's there. Just, no, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Well, Not I just racist saw... to you. Sorry. Yeah. I really apologize because he just totally said the N word while I was saying oh, he's not yeah. being racist. Yeah, like, but uh, sorry. No, I just because he was saying that uh, he yeah. kept saying Puerto Rican. So I'm like, oh, yeah, he's not it's like I just nice like about it. Yeah, and I forgot that he also mentioned black people in such a way, and I apologize. Uh, but George A. Romero likes uh, to use the, oh, jeez. It's my favorite thing, because they literally just had that kind of conversation. Just stick with me, kid, and you'll be all right. And, and then he's, first day on the job. Yeah, and it's not even like halfway through. He Show the new to guy him. today, huh? Yeah. Show him around. Yeah. We've done a lot of like these uh, ethnic Stratton. cleanses there was before. Another, there's another beige face who just two, left two screen. Four. You know, it's just uh, par for the course. They're ethnic cleansing. You know, that's what they're like. Yeah. It should be in routine. Yeah. And then zombies start showing up. Yeah. Maybe that. Maybe that this uh, th- this breed of cops. They just thought that minorities were going to screw up their ability to survive the zombie apocalypse. Loving the gore, man. Look yeah. at this. Everybody, and again, it's just like crazy. And what what is this weird like military jump over the wall thing? See, look at how beige, beige face that he is. That is for real beige face. That is like you could see his white chest. Oh, my God, buddy. What were you thinking? That's, that guy tried to freaking help you. I like that uh, Roger, this character here, uh, they, like his entire thing for the first little while was watching people die and going like, oh, like that's, <laughs> that's a reaction. Stuff. When that guy said for everybody to put on masks, one of them should have been a Jason mask. One of them should have been like a Michael Myers. One of them should have been like a <laughs> goblin. Put yeah. your masks on, boys. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I mean, but like uh, uh, Romero is very, uh, 
you know, he made the black man the hero in yeah. the first one. He's about, he's all about like, you know, the, 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 the racial yeah. well, things that are happening. And he had decided because they, they don't write the parts to be, oh, oh yeah, crazy. they don't make them like that anymore, baby. Yeah, it was a Holy giant, shit. It's a giant head explosion. Whoa. But the, um. Yeah, he doesn't write the parts with any races in mind, which I like. And then he just decided to cast against type because the right. black guy's always dying yeah, first I of like all that. of them. So, and I was like, yeah, I, ap- I appreciated that. But this whole scene, everything, the whole movies have uh, like a parallel yeah. with like what's happening in the world kind of a yeah. thing, right? But then that uh, black guy in the back corner there got totally marginalized. He walks around the corner and then just gets shoved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a line. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh. He just got shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, One of their own he, dudes shot him. He got put down by the man. Yeah, that's right, buddy. He had a mad dog roaming around biting people. Still the only working guy in this cast. Holy um, shit. So, yeah, um, talk a little bit about George Romero while we've got a little dip. Uh, so, obviously, Night of the Dead, Living Dead was his first full-length movie. And then he just started doing stuff. He actually doc- uh, directed a documentary about O.J. Simpson uh, really? in 74. Huh. So, it was called O.J. Simpson, The Juice is Loose. The Juice is Loose, and, buddy. Uh, yeah, and then obviously he did Dawn of the Dead in 78, so that's... Um, oh, buddy's getting up. Yeah. And then uh, Day of the Dead in 85, Land of the Dead in 2005, Diary of the Dead in 2007. So he did more than 10 years. Oh, between, yeah. Almost, between so those new movie. ones were, oh my God, they were terrible. They were not good. And then he was obviously, he did uh, Creep Show, Monkey Shines, The Dark Half. Oh, yeah, that's right, Creep Show. Yeah. Oh, the dar- I like The Dark... I haven't seen The Dark Half in forever. Yeah. I'm going to watch that. This was what, the um, Timothy Hutton? Yeah. Yeah. He was. Uh, he actually had uh, an uncredited role in Silence of the Lambs. He played an FBI agent in Memphis. He did. Apparently, huh. that's uh, that's information I got. I know they're all blue. And, and he cold. did it. He's but he's now a Canadian citizen. He moved to Toronto a while back and became a citizen of fucking a right. Fucking right on George right. Romero. We Smart did. move, buddy. You did it just in time. He knows where to be if the zombie apocalypse is going to happen. He's way yeah. up north somewhere. So let's talk about the zombie makeup. Ooh. Because it's terrible. Oh. So here's some more of uh, Roger going, oh, oh, over and over. But <laughs> Look at this um, guy. These zombies are terribly blue. Uh, essentially what happened, Tom Savini used similar, if not the exact same type of makeup that they used in Night of the Living Dead. But Night of the Living Dead, and it's a gray makeup. Oh. Oh, there you go. But Night of the Living Dead was in black and white, and this movie is not. Right. So uh, the movie oh. Oh, it's a really good, oh, it's yeah. really good uh, gore effect. But yeah, they um, so they didn't t- they think up, about that. It's going into color. No, well, it, it, to them, it didn't look like it was going to be. Like I don't think to them they thought it was going to be blue. Oh, there's another. Oh, <laughs> this was like one of his only movies though. So that's what else he's all right. I think he's all right. I'd probably react the same way, man. If I was, yeah. he's gonna puke on his own mask. Yeah. Come on, bud. <laughs> Don't, you can't puke in a room unless you're by yourself. Oh, yeah, here's Buddy. He's a giant. Um, so now we've got... This our, is like the 70s Tony Todd. Yeah. So we've got um, Ken Foray is the one talking there right now, the big guy. And Scott Renegar is uh, Roger. So Roger there, uh, Renegar, he was in four movies. He did, uh, and, the, and then he Damn, also... that guy. Yeah. Uh, he... <clears throat> appeared one of the roles he appeared as a general in the remake of dawn of the dead most of the people in this were in the remake of dawn okay of the dead. um he actually worked in the same restaurant as david mg the guy who is the boyfriend and the other one he's the guy who you'll see later who's the pilot is that the same guy from night of the living dead no it's not no this was tony todd oh i was gonna say tony todd is in the <laughs> remake but uh which was a couple which was like 12 good, good years casting later. Uh, yeah, so, t- like, yeah, totally. T- like. Tony Todd was the man. No, I don't remember the name of the other guy, but yeah, no, there's nobody, there's no connection between this movie. Nothing, and the right? One, no, except uh, Romero. Except the Romero. But, um, but yeah, so uh, David M.G., who plays the pilot guy who we saw earlier in the leather jacket and stuff like that, him and this guy, uh, Scott Reniger here, they worked in the same restaurant. Hmm. And that's how they all met. Yeah. Like the casting people and stuff like that is uh, David M.G. was the uh, chef. And he was a waiter, and they just happened to all hook up. Wow. Yeah. It's always like that. There was like roommates with the other actor, or like. Yeah. Uh oh. I just, yeah. just trying to find the pisser. Yeah. And Scott Re- and uh, Scott Reniger is now currently a life coach. He's a life coach? Yeah. Well, well if you've he taken knows- down the zombies, man, you can coach anybody. There you go, right? So, yeah, he's no longer acting. 
Uh, Ken Foray, he's in friggin' everything. He was in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. He was on the TV show Keenan and Kel. Okay. Oh, my God. On Nickelodeon. Uh, he, was, he was in Rob Zombie's Halloween remake, the first one. He was the big trucker that um, Michael Myers steals the... Uh, yeah, he the looks so of. familiar to me, man. Well, he's like... in, he's in everything, but that was yeah, he was the big trucker guy who like comes out and he's got like a couple things to say, and then yeah, Michael Myers kills him and steals his like big jumpsuit, which is what he wears for the terrible rest of movies. movies. I like the, <clears throat> the first one. I didn't find was bad. It was a little too long in the kid part. Right. I think they could have condensed that to like ten minutes. Yeah. And then you could have. And it was like the friggin' French guy and uh, Hannibal, like forty five <laughs> minutes of watching this guy smoke. I'm like, what the yeah. frig. Well, it was France. Is that Nelson Mandela? Is that a fake leg? What's going on? Oh, it no, is. Yeah, he has no leg. Oh, he's, he's like just, uh, he's, using like a, just a yeah. crutch built into his leg or yeah, something? He, what the heck was happening He there? didn't have time to get his peg leg installed, so he just oh, holds yeah, on Oh, yeah, you got to do what you got to do, man. Yeah. Hey, they when, got there's the stormtrooper masks on. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Look, like a nice That nice was not idea, well guys. boarded nice up. Nice idea. I like that. that wood. The boards were essentially all stuck <laughs> together, but not to the door. Like one nail. Yeah. There we go. This, Here they come. This is a little racist, but that guy right there and a couple of other ones <laughs> of them so far. <laughs> but like, that I don't makeup know. is he looks fucked, like, eh? He looks like Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard's a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. He and I just like. Guess. I, I told you that my mother was. No, not yes. Terrence Howard. Yeah. Yeah, Terrence yeah, Howard. Yeah, from uh, Empire. Empire, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Terrence yeah, Howard. Yeah, you told me you told us that She's, story. Yeah. That was great. Oh man. I haven't heard for all oh, uh, man, they're having a picnic down in the basement of the building. Yeah, oh. look, hey, let you know, live and let live. Fresh. Just close that you know. door. There's cobwebs. I'd be more concerned about that. I'm yeah, honestly would be more freaked out on you. if a cobweb Can the touched insect me. Turn? Turn? No, not that in I these know. movies, there was never animals. Yeah. That were zombies. You know, in the goofier ones, yeah. there's like zombie dogs and shit. Do you think animals would be able to... Ch- oh, that guy looks cool. Don't waste your say, ammo. Use a club. I would have just closed the gate. I would be like, you know what? I really can't be bothered with this. What if you want to put your bike in there, man? Nice. Oh, that's true. You know? Shit. Look at that guy was just trying to get comfy. And he's like, <laughs> freaking like, buddy, he was just like... He couldn't even let him finish his meal, for God's sake. See, even that kind of look, like, it looks like they're mowing down on ribs and, like, chicken looks bone. Looks good. Chicken this making me stuff. fucking hungry. Right? Like, it's just not happy. What was this uh, movie made? Uh, seven, well, this came out in 78, so. Oh, in stop the crying month prior. like a little sissy bitch. Yeah. He, um. Can't even kill he, a bunch of zombies. He's another guy I would have liked to have met at Con. He was at Comic-Con a couple years ago. I would have liked to have met him. Oh, you got that right, but he's <laughs> on there crying. I like the <laughs> no, I'm okay. Yeah, good yeah, good thinking, yeah, buddy. Yeah, nice. Nice <laughs> observation. Don't you love that? Yeah. This, of all of Romero's zombie movies, this was the most profitable one. Mm. Uh, we'll get into that. Oh, well, I might as well get into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yeah, well, what, we're what, here. We might as well uh, stay for a it while. It was a uh, budget of $650,000, and it made $5.1 million. Nice. It, That's uh, what I like to hear. It opened with nine hundred thousand dollars in its first weekend, and it only opened on sixty-eight screens mm. compared to like thirty-two hundred screens. Right now, like, now, there's like eight trillion. Yeah, so it's like a lot. Watching a movie at your house counts as a screen. These fucking things are so huge now. Yeah. Well, if they go right to like, what? How how many inches is counts as a screen? Well, it's a movie theater it counts as a screen. It's the only thing. Well, how actually... far down can you go before it does not count? Like I, I've got a home projector. Yeah. 75 inches did you pay for the movie from the studio or did you rent it i rented it, it then it does not count ah it's that's the only thing that ca- that's the only thing that counts as a screen did you buy the movie <laughs> to brought to <laughs> yeah. to sell did you pay them their money as a as like a uh as a viewing not as anything else where would you think that an apartment building would be a great place to be stuck yep you know, once you clear it, clear it, because they're, blo- how are they going to get up a fucking elevator? You block off the, what the thing is though. You need ways out with these places. Yes. you got to have a ways out, but you, it's, it's a simple ladder. thing. Yeah. You just get those and they have the ones that are four apartments that yeah. s- like hook onto hook the balcony, onto the balcony. And, and then just drop down and they can go down like as much as like, like 10 stories. You got to watch out when you're going down the ladder from the other friggin' balconies too, right? Zombies having yeah. smokes. I like the, how dumb this guy plays. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, he's yo, the yo. only guy that lives too. They do not. Yeah. Probably. Like in the whole zombie apocalypse, that's probably true. A boat would be really good, but yeah. you would need to go get supplies, so that would be really tough. Yeah. 
What's that one where they're on like a submarine or something? The Last Battleship or something? Is that a zombie show? I, don't know. I think they're, they're, it's the, like the, some dudes on the Navy. Oh, really? And they're the uh, last ship and something's on land, like a virus or something. Oh, I've not seen it. <clears throat> but you did see the last battle shit. Yes. On that German feed I gave you. And I am happy to see that the last, that last man on earth just got picked up for another season. Oh, it did. Give it up. Give it, it up for Will Ferrell. Give it up not Will Ferrell, Will, Will Forte. Oh, yeah. Give it up I for Will up. Ferrell, baby. Give it, up, give it up for Will Ferrell, too. He's got The House coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. He's uh, him and Amy Poehler and Jason Manzoukas are and, doing and, uh, a bunch of other things. Uh, shit, he was in the league. Yeah. He's Canadian Crawl. Yeah. He crawls in it. <laughs> I like I like the idea that you can fall asleep while piloting a uh, helicopter. He's putting on a buddy was there with him. Look at this. Boom. He He's not even drinking the water, yeah. but this could be the last water only, you ever have. Only one of them is a pilot. The, the, the man sitting next to him is not his co-pilot. He's reading a magazine. He's yeah. dozing off. Yeah. You know, he was flat out asleep, which is not a thing when you're flying. You just die. <laughs> Instantaneously. See, uh, now, I fucked up the timeline and stuff. I remember seeing this stuff, but I had seen... I didn't see this movie until after I saw the remake of Night of the Living Dead. Right. The one that Tom Savini directed. Yes. And I thought that this was all footage oh, from Oh, that was that. the house, maybe? Is this the house they're going past? You think? No, no, I don't think. This is all stuff that was shot for this, because this was two years... Uh, this was 12 years earlier. Yeah, you know what, Joe? You, you don't think. Yeah. Okay? You just no. fucking open your mouth. Yeah. And you say shit. It's improv, baby. You don't, but, um, is that what that's called? Yeah. <laughs> All these guys, the hunters, the first responders, everybody came as volunteers. They just, they just right. asked people to come and they all just like came just in, in full uniform and just showed up and all the hunters came with their guns and... So, oh, they're having a fucking tailgate party, baby! Yeah. Well, and this, because there's a scene at the end of the remake and I'm wondering if that's why they made the scene because that one, the Tom Savini one, came out in 1990. Like I said, 12 years after this. Right. One. But uh, it's them all gathered around like this and like hunting them and like playing games with them. Type. Yeah, thing. like and they're all hung up in the tree and they're shooting at them. Yeah, and they're and like, right. and they're like, what and are they? Play they the really sad music. Yeah. Because it's like, how dare they have fun yeah. with the zombies? Every person who only has one line to li- deliver in this movie is the worst actor in the world. Look, there's one there. Yeah, exactly. Like every single time. I'll shoe at him. Ooh, a nice car explosion. Yeah. You'll shoe at him? What? <laughs> I only had one time to say it. I was yeah. nervous. Yeah. They, they, they Helicopter's do not give... key, man. That's such a good thing to have. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of people, uh, Bill Burr was talking he's got a helicopter license or he's taking helicopter lessons right, right now and it was his first thing he's like if the shit hits the fan i'm going up <laughs> that's he's, a good idea man he's, he's like because you can go anywhere from there oh fuck man what would really happen yeah. if there was actually the zombie apocalypse yeah. so this place this whole the like the bulk of this whole movie was shot just outside of pittsburgh uh, uh, oh my god here he comes yeah this guy was hired he's actually a friend of tom savini's he was specifically hired because he's got a high forehead <laughs> and then it was more conducive right. to what they're about to do which you're about to see which i think is still my favorite first reaction like horror gag i've ever seen right like i remember the first time i saw it going Whoa! like not being disgusted not <laughs> being like, shocked that was a good it was idea. just like what a cool yeah, like thing. awesome yeah yeah because the other thing so tom savini's already said he regrets the f- color of the makeup because they all look blue but then he also regrets the color of the blood because it comes out neon in this it's like they didn't really have a handle on what to do for the regular thing, and they did no screen testing or anything ahead of time, which really would have solved. So all Tom the Savini did the makeup and uh, uh, the first one and this one. He didn't do makeup on the first one. Oh, okay. he just matched what they did. Oh, and then was like, oh fuck, yeah. So oh, it's because they made them all gray because that's what he figured. He's like, you don't have any blood in you, right? So you'd be all gray, right? But then it just didn't show up that way. Joe headed toward Drucker's farm. Yeah. Does it, those, that's a nice touches in the places too, right? Yeah. Notes people left. Yeah. If you're not a zombie, please fill up the coffee machine. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like... Hey, <laughs> somebody did. <laughs> We're all set. That would be the most disgusting sludge in the world. I... You know, it always reminds me of Terminator 2, man. Yeah. Like, hey, I got a full house. <laughs> I just... I like the sound of the coffee pouring into the cup like yeah. that. It's just a cool sound. At least you can have fucking coffee, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. First thing you'd have to do, well, well, I guess like you'd have to be somewhat already pre-prepared. Yeah. But then, you know, cause it's going to get crazy. Don't just shoot through a door. Like it could yeah. be your mother's on the other side coming through. Yeah. Like what the frig? Really? What are the odds? But like, still what? don't. Like, I like the, these ideas too. They do these weird 
tackles and hits like they've never hit somebody before. Like, you could see, like, he did a weird, like, not even a clothesline, and then you see him hit a guy in a little bit, too, and it's just, the way he swings his body, he's, you you could tell, like, you could beat him in a fight. Oh, fuck, yeah, he <clears> doesn't <throat> even know what he's doing, this is zombie's pretty, He should have been bit about a hundred times. too. Yeah, I mean, he's got clothes on, this guy's yeah. new to being a zombie, he used to be, yeah. like, a, uh, like, he used to sell yeah. cars. The Ooh, leather, yeah. The leather would help, though. He reminds me, you know, the thing, too, is because he reminds me of the guy that bangs his head off. You know, they're coming for you, Barbara. He oh, reminds yeah. me of him. He looks to me, he looks exactly the same, and so does the other yeah, guy. Watch watch this move here. Oh yeah. <laughs> See I like the that. key the key to killing a zombie is hitting your elbow into their armpit when you're holding a hammer. They just don't know. Look at this like, guy. Yeah. They just don't know. Yeah, just keep <laughs> wasting all your bullets. Yeah. Well remember, the, these guys the these guys don't have zombie movies to pre- help them prepare, right? right? So, so you okay? So you they a don't bunker, even have a word zombie. A bunker would be really good, but well, you yeah. need a way out of there too. Yeah, you need an escape tunnel or something. What you need to do, and it's like I would. Like oh, to, there it is. Ah, oh. yeah. and this is precisely. Ah, oh. nice. it's so good with the the slice. Oh man. Oh, what well, if you can just rewind that real quick at home? I wish that they would have used that in the remake. Now that you got better gold yeah. and stuff like that. So these kids are Tom. Uh. Sav- these are Tom Savini's niece and nephew. They they just needed kids. I like they're not you strong can't enough even to get bite. their teeth through. <laughs> so <laughs> well, I said like, oh my god, he unloaded yeah. like half a clip into the kids. Yeah. What are we gonna do today, Uncle Tom? <laughs> You're gonna get murdered. This uh, this one's great, and they do a lot of this in this with this guy constantly missing, and then somebody else comes in right, and, and he gets them in one shot. And nobody gives them crap terrible. for wasting bullets. They're just like, "You're not good at this. Yeah. I'm better." Boom. Bang! <laughs> You're not a man. Boom! <laughs> Robocop's gonna really work out in this thing. Yeah, he should have been the next Robocop for that. Because I mean, reason. if you if you were in an apartment, you could go apartment to apartment trying to get stuff. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know. There, I guess there's not really an yeah. ideal place unless no. you lived at the mall. I guess the mall with yeah. the ammo store is pretty, pretty so, sweet. So again, he's missing again like crazy. He's almost killing Buddy behind yeah. him. See? Again, get out of the way. I, th- I almost feel like it's the same shot. Like they did two takes of that same shot of him missing before. And, and he then just, he's just, yeah. sort of just like, let's use it again. Oh, man. I'd be grabbing all those lifesavers and chocolate oh. bars and everything. Anything that wouldn't turn to mold immediately yeah. would be in my pocket. Canned food. See, the idea, too, would be have a big fucking freezer yeah. filled with shit. Well, the thing is, you're going to lose power. So you need someplace. That's why, like, uh, Last yeah, Man on Earth has got their shit together. You have to have they went a, to a, a generator. Place, yeah, they went to a place that was self sufficient. It's all, like, solar powered with, like, batteries and generators and all that stuff. So See? they had full electricity. See, that's, <laughs> that is another reason right there that we need to start switching over to solar power and stuff yeah. right the mm-hmm. zombies well and they um just did a full release on elon musk's um solar panel shingles yeah that are coming out it's gonna cost it'll be i ex- thought i just saw something on this yeah too. well yeah, it just came well it's been it power your whole household about, or something yeah well essentially what happens is the shingles um it costs about the same as getting the metal shingles for your roof right, right now. Uh, but then they feed into a battery. You get the Tesla battery. And depending on the size of your house, you might need more than one, but whatever. And and it will it'll power your house all day, store extra energy what? in the battery, and power your house all night. What? Uh, oh, the government's not going to dig that, man. It's already happening. It's so happening. It's just, How are it's they going to get hard. their money then? I don't know. Because that lady was just in shit for living off the grid, and she was doing the same thing, and they were yeah. like, oh, you always a big fine of this. And she's like, why? Yeah. yeah. And they're like, well, because you're not paying our bullshit prices for this bullshit. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. You know what? I'm going to move into a house. I'm going to get those shingles, man. I'm all about that shit. Yeah. They now officially have, I think it's in pre-order right now. I don't know the exact thing, but I saw somebody went to... Uh, like you can put, I think you put deposits down on pre-order right. right now. Elon Musk is the guy that runs Tesla. Uh, Tesla, SpaceX. He's that also dude's the guy. Pretty he's, cool, man. Yeah, he is the he's the real Tony Stark. I think that if there, you know, like you can say, oh, that that billionaires, he's he's in the NWO. This guy, I think, is the opposite. Yeah, I don't think Elon Musk is part of the NWO no. because he's big initiative on yeah. you know. I think electric, he's part of the Wolf Pack. Fucking a. <laughs> Way to go, Elon Musk. So I like this idea. It's like this one of those shopping centers. Like this was when malls were new, just right. so you're aware. Uh, at the time, this mall was the one of the biggest malls in the in in the world. Really? Yeah. 
Seriously, so in the 70s, I wonder when the first mall was. Somebody call in. Um, I actually have that information in one of my Uncle John's bathroom readers. Oh my God, there's like a million of those. <laughs> yeah, it tells the whole story about... You can never bring those out of the bathroom once you've, you, once you've had them. They stay no. there forever. You have to burn the bathroom to yeah. the ground and then rebuild it. Yeah, exactly. It's like how, it's like how you have specific ways of getting rid of, fl- of uh, disposing of flags. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like how you, it has to be incinerated. And like... It has to be wrapped in a brand new flag. Yes. Of the opposite country. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this, I mean, this is super ideal. Yes. Um, That's a good thing they ran into this damn thing. It would have been more ideal if the zombie outbreak would have happened while the mall was closed. Because then they wouldn't have had to clear it. They wouldn't have had to. Yeah, but they are, they're all showing up anyways, though, right? Because Yeah, but they'd all, I, but all been just stuck outside that I, way. And I, you know, in, in, the, in the mentality... Mm-hmm. of this one yeah they say that like once you're dead mm-hmm. you know because some of these zombies are showing up yeah. and it's like they're just doing it out of habit so out of habit do you think a zombie could run the elevator but just by uh, like they yeah, don't know what they're going to be just uh. yeah he wouldn't knowingly press two right he would, he would smush just, his hand yeah. on it till a button got a button pressed. and then it yeah and then he ends up on floor three yeah. and then yeah i like this very it's a very vague pennies kind of before jc yeah. came along and ruined it yeah i know fucking jc but like i like the idea that this is just hey it's a nice explanation it's like they're just doing it because that's what they do that's what they're used to doing yeah that's right see they said it right there <laughs> yeah i thought that maybe it was later yeah sweet you know this mall would have been awesome too because it's not a like fuck yeah. it you go to the mall it's just the same store as every mall it's all the same shit go into the west edmonton mall Oh, well, fuck, maybe not that one. I'm getting a this is the same roller coaster we were on four miles ago. <laughs> like, what the shit? I did hear, wasn't that you that told me that it's essentially the same stores? Like, you'll go through a big section, yeah. and then it'll kind of redo. That, well, it doesn't redo, but there are, like, you can you there's go there, la- there's, and there were, like, three foot lockers yeah. in the mall. And, the, and that happened a few different times. You buy a pair of shoes at one, and by the time you get to the next one, you need a new pair of shoes. Yeah. And what sales, a fucking mall. Yeah, it's pretty great. That'd be the mall. Like, I've been there a couple times. It's in. fantastic. I mean, that one Mall of America things like I that. I saw yeah. a new preview for the West Edmonton Mall. Oh, really? It was new. It was. I was like, "Ooh, this must yes. be West Edmonton." And it sure was. Yeah, we're more west. We're even wester than before. Yeah. Um. So the only person we haven't spoken about is Galen Ross, who plays Francine. She's does. Uh, she's makes documentaries now. Yeah. Oh. She's uh, only. She was only acting in three. Um, three movies. She was in this. She was in Madman, and she was in Creep Show. She also played Donald Sutherland in yes. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah, for a little bit. She looks like she could be a '70s reporter lady yeah. or something. Yeah. The interesting thing, though, her only t- she has a little bit of a tie to the rest of this series. She was actually one of the, in the casting department for Day of the Dead. Ah. So she didn't act that. She was got acting an eye for zombies. Apparently. I don't. I don't know how that comes to pass. It's like. But she knows where they go to. She's like, you know what. Yeah. You're Chef Zombie. I can see you. Yeah. She, you're like, you're a lady. You're amazing. She looks like if Shelly Duvall and uh, Farrah Fawcett had a baby. I agree. <laughs> She's got Shelly Duvall's face and then Farrah, uh, Farrah Fawcett's feathered hair. Oh, my God. How's mine looking today? It's getting pretty good, eh? It looks great. I know. It's looking fucking it's wicked. I don't even like, have to see in a mirror and I know it looks awesome. I've had dog shit hair my whole life. <laughs> now I have none. <laughs> Fuck you, world. <laughs> Uh, yeah. here they go well, what's the when you're in the zombie apocalypse yeah. and you hit the mall yeah where's the first store you're going uh it depends on what i have and what i don't have already okay like, so if let's i go say, there with nothing <clears throat> nothing food okay and you got your pick of the litter what are you gonna go with what's if, your craving well, pizza i always yeah. want pizza yeah i mean I, everything's so dependent like if do i still have electricity do i have a place where i can cook these things i would grab everything and then just throw shit out out the window as it, as it uh, gets rotten yeah. and then just let it like decompose outside but um if i'm kind of stuck i just get all the i i just spend all my time gathering all the I'm going straight to and, the fucking chips yeah. and the french fries yeah well i would for sure for sure and the for smokes sure. guaranteed the smokes there you go yeah, I'm just, everybody's always trying to quit. I'm trying to quit. But I mean, like a zombie yeah. apocalypse, who cares? Yeah. Everybody's going to start smoking. Yeah. Which will be good for me because that's when I'm going to start really working on my cardiovascular and then I'll be able to outrun Todd when the day comes <laughs> exactly. to it. Exactly. Which is completely untrue because I've got a knee that's made of friggin' dog food. Oh, so I'm it's pretty be... sure that when a group of zombies are going to be, <laughs> like, you're going to fucking move. Yeah. And then afterwards, you'll be like, oh, my knee fell off halfway through that Probably. run. I remember getting oh, shit. God. 
our first day of high school, they had tryouts for football. And we went there. And oh, my I had, God. And I had a bad knee already because I had injured my knee in grade eight and nothing had been done about it because nobody believed me that I hurt my <laughs> knee. You're a pathological liar. Yeah, apparently. And the uh, so like what had ha- actually happened to my knee was I chipped off a piece of my kneecap. That's and right. It kept locking it was, like, up. floating around in there, right? Yeah, yeah. And it kept it would float over and like lock my knee in place like a little like like a like linchpin. Ja- thing. Yeah, like, like jam it yeah. in there. Yeah. And so I have to like manually like push it back in and it was painful and it sucked. And I was really running and i kept hurting it. i was like and i yelled out how my knee a couple times and i remember one of the big dudes is sitting there and like they were sitting there and we were taking a break he's like yeah some pussy out there's going like oh my knee oh my knee <laughs> and he's like so what are you doing he's like you hurt yourself i'm like yeah he's like what'd you hurt and i'm like uh my ankle <laughs> well it's just like i couldn't do it, it was our first day of yeah, high first day what i was I- terrified yeah like, they were huge and they were like the biggest assholes in the world yeah, it and couldn't I was like, have wow, worked. could you make this any more intimidating? Yeah. That and guy it, hates the song so much that he just fell over. And a kid we went to high school. No shoving. Yeah. And another kid, a little skinny little guy that we went to high school with, he's signing up on the same day and he goes, which guy kills the quarterback? <laughs> and like, he's acting all tough. I remember that. And I was just like, like, don't make this any worse on yourself. You're yeah, not like, going to be. Dude, what the frick? Like, you're, not, you're, much, you're not going to make the team much less. Oh, of there else. he is. Was that Andy Dick? Yes. <laughs> Oh, was, Harry Krishna. It, that guy comes back. Keep your eye on that guy. Yeah. And of course he has to be like the, the, what do you call it? Whoop. <laughs> yeah. This, the, oh, there is the sound effects going. Wasn't there? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, but it's, it's through the music. It's not like, yeah. whoop. just for laughs gangs. <laughs> they should do the zombie mall. Oh my God, buddy. Yeah. This zombie's doing all right. Like he's getting it figured he's not out. He's a zombie. He's getting, he's, that was just... He, he's just... That's a old Zeke. He's always yeah. digging change out of the friggin' he's, pond. He's he the hasn't slow, looked up yet. He has no idea this yeah. is happening. He's the slow fella who's like the the little brother of the manager of pennies. <laughs> exactly right. He's always in the yeah. park. Get out of the fountain. So that photo booth there, the zombies, as they were getting their makeup done and they came out, they went and they'd get their photos done in that photo booth. Ah. And they replaced, they like pried open the thing and took the sample photos out and put all the zombie photos in. Oh, sweet. Because when they shot this movie, this is at the Mansfield Mall in uh, Mansfield, uh, Pennsylvania. So what they oh, Monroeville, like off, sorry. Off time? Yeah. Well, what they did, yeah, is the the mall would close. Um, mm, it was... Real. That place looks like a wicked yeah. place to have a steak and have a beer, man. Yeah. So the mall closes around 9 o'clock. They get started at 10 p.m. Right. So they're like... So prior to the mall closing, they're in makeup or doing whatever else, right? And so they'd be in there from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. They wanted to do later... They wanted to work till 8 a.m., but at 6 a.m., this god-awful, like, Muzak would come on, like, except the real stuff. Right. It would come on at 6, and nobody knew how to shut it off. So it's built just, into the system, man. That was it. They could, I was like, couldn't ask anybody. Nobody or, could figure it and out. And so basically... They built the mall, and that music started. Yeah. They're so like, the, what? So they lost two hours a day because they couldn't figure out how to turn off the music. Just keep it. Uh, but I mean, because it's it's it's, it's, yeah. it's explainable. Yeah, but it's just interesting because this is a legit open mall right now. It but they looks shot, it. That's but for they sure. shot. Yeah, they shot all night. Um, it's mall still there. Yeah, it's still there. It's now like the, now I was saying it was one of the largest in America at the time. No, it's, it's now like, like it's completely insignificant. It's yeah, like it's just a mall. Here. It's just a mall. Oh, this guy made it in. Mm-hmm. This is like Black Friday. Yeah. So, yeah. Holy jeez, like the security guard gets his gun stolen. Where's yeah. the Nintendo Switches? So yeah, so this was the Monroe, just to re- reiterate, this is the Monroeville Mall. Not Monroeville. The, I said Mansfield Oh, first. buddy got a gun. Yeah. Yeah, I, f- I feel like look, that should yeah. This is still looking at it. I feel like that should have come into play at some point. Like when, even when like the guys come later or something like that. He's shooting boom. at him or something. Yeah, he's just, he's I was going to say like later on in Day of the Dead, uh, he's out there <laughs> shooting at them. Or he, maybe 15 later because they're like way later, like the zombies started like learning. Yes. That one zombie was like getting smart in, in that yeah. one. Day of the Dead. No, not Day of the Dead, but oh yeah, oh yeah, that one yeah, too. Bob. Like he was starting to you know, learn things, which I don't agree with. I think your brain is starting yeah. to break yeah, it's, down. If anything, no it's way. getting worse and worse over time. Yeah. But no, I mean, in the, the later one, the, yeah. that new one with Dennis Hopper in it, there oh. was that one zombie who was like figuring out how to make things. Oh, and like, yes. and he was always like, I'm after you. I'm like the main he zombie. Was, yeah. He like led them across. Yeah. The wall. yeah. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Like, what the hell? 
Like he's getting, <laughs> yeah, get rid of the mannequins, bro. For real. Oh, that would be the first thing I did. Oh, Ooh. fuck yeah. It would, every mannequin would have been dumped over the side. Royal Rumble style. That's how you get eliminated <laughs> in the Royal Rumble. I'd, I'd close on him right over the counter uh, there. Nice wagon. Yeah. We're going to try. Just having a free, this is like free. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine you like worked at the, that mall and the movie came out and you brought like your family to see it. And you're they're like, yeah, this is, this is where I work. Yeah. And there's zombies. Zimbies. Of course you can exchange. Oh my god, a zombie exchange. This one's just yeah. not working out. I don't he know. He gave himself a yellow belt. Oh, nice. He just, Picked he, up a new belt? Um, oh, it so off so there's an the interesting mall. little um, theory. That so is very he, unsafe at the mall. No, but here's the thing. There are now little rubber bumps at the bottom of the escalator things. Right. And it is widely believed that that specific scene is the reason why they exist. Seriously, from from this movie in yeah. this... Yeah, they saw this and it came out in the theaters and malls were new and they're like, well, we can't have this. So they put... Like, we can't have people doing that. So they put those nubs on. No way! Now, that's that was not a good sub- piece of trivia yeah, right there, now, too. Now, that's not substantiated, but that's believed. <laughs> I believe that to be yeah. substantiatious. Yeah. Yeah, it's... uh. It's something. Uh, also, if always you, first quality. Yeah, if you uh, listen every now and again, you might hear a voice on the PA. Where it'll say like "attention shoppers" or something mm-hmm. like that. That is George Romero's wife. Attention he, shoppers. Yeah, that's uh, Christine Forrest is Romero's wife, and you'll just you'll hear like I think a couple of quick times throughout the thing. I like that everybody uses their guns as pointers in this. Oh, it's you like, got, oh, it's like Homer this. Simpson in the uh, NRA episode. <laughs> Where he's just like using his gun to <laughs> yeah, shoot like the, everything, like, yeah. the lid off the pop and or the beer, or whatever. It's the NRA for you. <laughs> Come to Papa, baby. Yeah. Um, they suspended shooting in the mall over Christmas because that's when they put up all their decorations. And they mm. literally would have had to take down every decoration, shoot, and put every decoration back where they found it before shooting. So nice. they it seems like they're somewhere. pretty respectable about the whole. Well, yeah, Although yeah. the mall gets pretty wrecked up in the end. Yeah, but I mean, well, they probably just made a deal where we'll fix it. Yeah, it's all that's all it was, right? It's just a and it. It's probably good for the mall, regardless. Even if the yeah. side's blown out or something, you can be like, they just filmed yeah. a movie here. Well, yeah. let's go to the mall. And, well, you know, and keeping in mind that they're doing when they shoot, right? You're doing like a little chunk at a time, so it was probably nothing for them to get it back to normal before. You think about having that kind of a lax schedule in a movie now. It's With impossible. all the money and the, yeah, we'll just stop for a couple weeks during winter to, well, eh, it, we'll shoot, come back later. They had a shorter work day than I have. That's amazing. And, the, like, when is that ever, ever, ever in a, in a movie? Right. Like, I was like, you hear about, like, 16-hour days. And Sounds it was, like, awful, to be honest. 10 hours. Oh, it's, well, th- there's. Look at Jennifer Lawrence halfway yeah. through the day. You're like, oh, yeah. this movie industry is not worth it. Well, there's a, a famous saying that you act for free, you get paid for waiting. Right. Right, it's the you're that's what you're being paid for. It's a good quote. Sit about who said that? Betty Betty White. Um, no, it was um Hitler. Hitler said that. <laughs> on point. He was on point on that yeah. one. Yeah, he had some good things to say. None of it about the whole like master race thing. <laughs> yeah. but he really knew that's his the filmmaking. problem because he had a <laughs> yeah. lot of good things to say. Then when you're yeah. throwing shit like that, yeah. Yeah, now you're just crazying up the, <laughs> you're just gunking up the mix. Oh, here, hey, buddy, look at this guy. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew how. Nobody knew how to be a He's zombie. Still missing. I know they're not very good. You think that when you start the zombie genre, you'd maybe tell them what to do? But he it was just like, go after him, yeah. be a zombie. Because some of them were like, oh, like you see their mm-hmm. face. Oh, like you, yeah. Oh. Well, I like now you have the zombie walks and stuff like that that people organize. I don't like when they like put their arms out. No, like but the you, whole oh, that's the kill. Yeah, you know, would, like the Frankenstein well, kind of. At first, I kind of understood it because it's like a matter of keeping balance or something right. like that. But oh, that's not shit. how they're using it. Like it's uh, they're just using it as exactly like you say, like a Frankenstein. Because I'm just reaching out. Look at this guy could be a way. You know, who's a good but, zombie yeah. man, Aaron. Yeah. He was great. He'd make a great zombie in a movie. Yeah, he was from, awesome. A friend of ours from back in the day, he he had a great walk. Yeah, he had but, a, he'd uh, knock into things and fall over, too, yeah. like a zombie would. Oh, it was yeah. great. It looked like it hurt, too, man. Yeah, he's our age, though, so he's probably like, you know, <laughs> he's, that, no, he's probably hurt. feeling it now. Yeah. He's like, man, being that zombie, oh, really mm-hmm. took it at me. My knees, yeah. got zombie knee. There was a, <laughs> Todd will attest to this, there was literally a time I was at his house and he was on the phone with somebody while I was just rolling down his stairs. <laughs> 
Remember oh, we, were shooting, shit. we were shooting something where I had to fall down the stairs yes. and I was trying to figure out how to do it. So I, I fell down the stairs. down the stairs a couple times. I fell down the stairs a bunch of times in a row. And it was just like, and that was exactly the conversation. It was just like, what? what oh. was, and he's like, what's that? And he's like, oh yeah, just a guy going down the stairs. Yeah, um, no big deal. Look at this guy. Yeah. Hey. So that. <laughs> okay. Look like, you know. Like married with children or something when he I falls know. off the roof. I know. There he is. There's a Harry Krishna. That's a Harry yeah. Krishna. Yeah, you had a few guys who were like the lead zombies like who were in a lot of scenes. Yeah. That was a awful. That edit. was completely awful. That was a terrible jump cut. But um this guy just get off me already. Yeah. Jesus. See, I like how he cheers them on. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. <laughs> he, a, not a very long run, is he? He's out of gas already. Yeah, he is a very much treated. Like like a retarded stepbrother yes. in this movie, and then he really gets it. So he's totally Andy Dick. You cannot tell oh me he's not. Oh my lord! The old Brown Derby's really getting the biz Stickery here. Stickery Love Pub, Love oh. Pub. You will not. Oh, <laughs> pop! Little pop yeah. to the face. Jab, jab. Yeah, like I guess I, okay, you want to so punch a few, but if what if you, you punch broke your hand? That's exactly what I was going to say. If you punch a zombie in the mouth, yeah. and you cut your hand, would their saliva get you? Yeah. Well, because that's the thing. I mean, they don't really play that up in these zombie movies, but in the zombie, like in other zombie movies, when you when getting bit is the whole thing. Yeah, like uh, then scratch, then you anything, get a scratch because or... you don't get you don't necessarily get. See, so you take yeah. the fucking mannequins out. You don't get turned from. That it took him being, a minute to realize like what is happening here. Yeah, yeah, you don't get turned from being bitten. You die because you get infected right. from the stuff, and then the and then infection you... is what brings you back to life. Or in Walking Dead's case, you're already infected, so even if you die of natural causes, you come back. Does that happen in this one, too? Where when you die, regardless, you're coming... Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, blood yeah. pool. Um, mm, I don't yes. think the blood is that bad. It's not that bad, but no, it's very right. it's very red, and it comes off way redder on on that blue skin. Right. So it's like if he had like a normal colored skin or like a like a different kind of. So why didn't he just do it again? I thought he was gonna do it too. I thought it was gonna be like his thing. Yeah, he's yeah. I'm just gonna keep doing it. No fun. Okay, it was a couple close calls in there. <laughs> it was on sale. Everything's on sale, man. After during Christmas. the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. After Christmas clearance. Oh, so, they're, they're doing it. Look at that kid. Hey, the there's a new one there. Did you see the one? Yeah. Uh, she didn't look like she see, was. See, look at him uh, laugh now. <laughs> he looks like, actually, speaking of. Uh... Yeah. Hey, do you want to yell too with us? You could just... What if you have sex with a zombie, but you wear a condom? Well, that's fine. All right, cool. That's fine. Just don't get a toothy blowjob. Yeah, yeah. We're going to knock him out first. <laughs> that's how I like him. Gummy. <laughs> Like those walks are oh, the terrible. Oh, the piercing! I know. Look at this terrible. And eh? there's and no zombies. That guy's are not like, even trying. Look at this guy. See, they're all they're yeah. all doing. Look at They're all doing the yeah. kind of yeah. No zombies are walking stairs. By the way, they're yeah, all they falling fall, down yeah. the stairs. You get stuntmen. You're that not was even actually, getting paid. You're gonna fall down the stairs. Yeah, that's a problem with this movie, though. Actually, there are no stuntmen in this movie. They couldn't afford a proper stunt crew, so most of the stunts are done by Tom Savini and his assistant. <laughs> I love that. They were just That's like how you we, make a movie, man. They were just like, we'll do it. Like they just volunteered themselves. Cause Tom Savini's not like the lead makeup guy. He's the makeup special effects guy. Right. So he's the guy who does like the applied like probably he's the, the guy head who did, blowing like, up. The head blowing and, uh, up on the things, but he didn't do the make like the makeup. The makeup per se. He did the I'm present the head blows apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did the gags, as they say in the The bits. gags. I like their carpet world back there. Oh, I like that. Looks nice, man. I mean, I would just really be, redo the place. Like, get him to the Greek. I just go touch the fuzzy fuck, wall. Yeah. <laughs> just touch the wall. Um, I would make a suit of that. Yeah. Very warm, very comfortable, very static. See, I would be all about. I'd be all about armor. It was a good thing they did in uh, The Walking Dead. That was a great with, idea. With all the, the riot And when gear. he gave that up, man, I was like, why would you ever? You know, they yeah. did it because he needed to be, like, vulnerable. Yeah, you have to be in danger. Otherwise, it's boring. Like, if they go out and, like, everything's going to be cool all the time. I always wanted to see, too. Because I remember I was talking before in the mini-sode yeah. where, like, I want to see a movie where they're kind of all the situations are incorporated. Maybe, like, I, I'm not really, like, the biggest fan of The Walking Dead. I liked it in the beginning. But it's, mm-hmm. like, it's always the same thing to me personally. And that's the... Don't trust humans humans yeah. are worse than the zombies and it's always some you know like yeah. the governor or a fucking baseball bat guy or like yeah i want like you know the, the zombies Admiral baseball you know bat. some people are stuck some people are running around loose in the city yeah uh you know and you can get all, all different types of of scenarios 
I was going somewhere with that, but I uh, fuck who cares. <laughs> it was for a zombie movie idea. Yeah, yeah. What do you got? Oh, he's picking yeah. it out here. Yeah, I, I like that. See, this is what I like about the mall, though, is especially for a movie. Like, maybe, like, as a practical idea, whatever. Right. But for a movie, you have every reason to have everything. You don't have to, like, think about logic of, oh, how'd they get access to so right. many tools? There's a tool store. There's a tool or, store. You yeah. know, there's it's like, the it's America, store. too. There's, yeah. It's, We'd be, fu- like, what are we going to use? Uh, we don't have like the gun store unless I think you can buy them at the Bass Pro Shop, maybe. But then it's a rifle. This is like you go into the but corner get, store, and just pick up anything. But we can get endless like hatchets and stuff like that. Like we we are safe. Yeah, we'll be all right. A big tree branch. Yeah, reusable too. You don't have to worry about. I'm gonna use. Uh... Yeah, you you know what? Up north would be great too because you could make your whole place into like a fortress. Yeah, but one, you... one little entrance way to get in. Uh, the yeah. rest spikes and pits and. Uh... Woo, 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 subsonic noises woo, woo, woo. you know like that thing that woo, and it's like a ghost woo, oh you know when you like go walk past yeah, in a halloween yeah, i'm just staring at todd's <laughs> hand and it looks like he's just juggling nuts right now woo. yeah tea bag that's all right i'm on she's board. flipping yeah what's her problem she hates this color the yeah. wall's moving big time look at it yeah <laughs> she, is this harry krishna coming in yeah she just lost a strength fight to a zombie oh it's time See, and they and the other thing, too, about this one, they think about a lot of things. Like, he's already planning out. Like, he sees that entrance to the hallway, yep. and he's like, well, that's not the that's safe a problem. thing. And it's, and it's brilliant. Like they Oh, really, Harry, look, he's got the tambourine going still. Yeah. They set themselves up to basically, hey, like, be very safe here for a long time if they wanted to be. It was, you're right. It was pretty, pretty smart. Pretty smart in this mm-hmm. one. I was going to stick a red hot flare right up his ass. Yeah, I guess. That'll help. Although I got to tell you, man, the gore in The Walking Dead, the zombies in The Walking Dead are the best zombies I have ever oh, seen. Oh, so good. That and one in the first season, in the very first episode, it's like a, a, just a torso yes. crawling through the field. I yeah. was like, whoa, man. And they get those one, the one that was in the well. That yeah, was all like, God. Yeah. And he falls apart. Yeah. yeah. And they pull him out. He's all... They did a great one this season. It was kind of like a gladiator one. They, they would test people and they would throw them in with this one zombie. And it had like spikes all through him. So like he had like big like like right. giant like railroad spikes and stuff all through him and he was like all sharp and you couldn't get close to him and he had a helmet on that oh, was like wow. all like stuck into him so you couldn't just like stick a knife through his head and it's I like was a like boss battle yeah it was and very like a much, zombie game it was very much a oh, boss battle you just reminded me what I was gonna say before was I always wanted to see one guy who had a shit ton of armor on but mm-hmm. was trapped underneath all these zombies that were trying to get to him you're like yeah. help me like just he's in like some old medieval armor right and to they're just drooling on him through the through the piece you know what I yeah. mean like oh god what if you get their drool in your mouth what, ew. you change. I don't know. Now yeah, we're getting into real. up on you? Some, well, I've never seen a zombie throw up, so let's just go ahead and assume that's going to be fine. But if yeah. they scratch you and stuff, their own saliva is probably yeah. pretty contagious. I would say scratch, you could probably clean it and be okay. Right. Bite gets bad because yes. bite goes in. Like, scratch is really surface. A bite gets the saliva into, into you. you. Whereas if you, if you just drool Maybe on Maybe if they're drooling on you, you'd be okay. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just, let's go the same rules for AIDS as zombies. <laughs> okay. If they're, right. dro- if they're drooling into your open wounds and they've You're got right. like bloody gums, you might your have a problem. probably handle it. Yeah. We'll be Bleeding all right. Bleeding gums. So speaking of everybody has AIDS, this movie <laughs> almost got, uh, this movie almost got an X rating. Ah, that's right. Yes, you were saying, and yeah. So they were threatening the X rating. Ooh, uh, that's they bad. Ne- they negotiated it down to a no rating. To half an X. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it's a weird. a crooked C. Yeah, like what but, the hell? Um, no, it was, um, they negotiated it down mm. to being not rated. And they put in the trailer and on the poster and stuff saying that there is no sexual stuff in this. Right. But it is not like people under 17 wouldn't be admitted right so it was basically that was their way of saying don't worry it's just violence not sex yeah that was our way of saying their way of saying it's rated r to us (laughs) who like like i like that he's uh still pouring it into a glass at this point in time i'd just be like cap off don't need this anymore entire bottle down glug 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 now they're just (laughs) that's basically what they're doing yeah 
Okay. It kind of looks like the, the the dude, the buddy in the four of the front here. Kind of yeah. kind of reminds me of like Steve Carell or something. He has that kind of look. Yeah, he's of got that. Uh... Did you see uh, on Colbert? Uh, again, again, we're doing <laughs> we're doing like this well oh, ahead of time. Man. But Colbert this week, they just did a thing where they celebrated his uh, 20th anniversary of joining The Daily Show. Ah. So we had uh, Jon Stewart, nice. Samantha B, Ed Helms, uh, John Oliver, Rob Corddry all came oh on the God, show. Oh my God, I miss Rob Corddry yeah. so bad. And they all came on the show and they were there together and they invited Steve Carell, but Steve Carell was shooting a movie and couldn't get out of it. Ah. So. I haven't seen Steve Carell in a while either. Yeah, well, he's always working, but he's always on these kind of vague things. Right. right? And then it comes out and it's like, but then some of them aren't like the big short or something like that. Right. right? It's, that's the thing. Seems like he does a lot of passion projects kind yeah. of thing, right? Little and, low key ones. And, and uh, Foxcatcher and things like that. Like it's things that aren't drawing the huge attention attention but they're getting attention after the fact so like it's just you feel like people disappear into the abyss if you don't hear about them constantly it's like this yeah. is gonna be the biggest movie ever it was the biggest movie ever <laughs> you know they never show what happens in the other countries as well why don't we get an american made like a zombie movie that takes place over in japan or something no, i would like to think because when you watch the ones they make it it's like what the fuck am i looking at yeah I would like to think, yeah, it's all, like, the ring happened. <laughs> yeah, or like, yeah. Oh. that one where, like, I don't know, what I was watching it on, like, Omni TV yeah. 18, and they were, like, hopping like bunnies. Yeah. And everyone goes, like, beep-boop. And, they're, yeah, and then like, just disappear. The yeah. Or, like, he falls to the floor, and then they use rewind, and then he's under the bed. And I was like, yeah. what the fuck is happening yeah. here? I would, I like to think that nothing is happening anywhere else. This continent has been taken over mm. by zombies, but you go over and in England it's just business as usual. And yeah, the just... zombies are really getting on there and yeah. they'll just across and the like, pod there. And they're like, we should go help them, but they're like, we can't. We land and then one of our guys gets bit, flies back. Now all of a sudden we've got it over here. We just have to leave just it. Leave it, it there until zombie boat reaches the yeah. the shore. Exactly. Keep Which will happen. Yeah, that would be the very end of the movie. Yeah. You'll see some old tanker roll up and some zombie cat that will <laughs> sit up. Yeah. Uh, Galen Ross here, she refused. I guess uh, there were some scenes where she'd have like the big like uh, horror girl screams and stuff. Right. And she refused to scream in the movie because she wanted to be like a stronger character. Uh, and she's like, it's this. And she's like, the second a girl screams, they lose all of that. Right. So, and I And I tend to agree with that. I can, you know what? I'd be all right with that as a director. I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, and that was basically what happened. He's like, he asked yeah. her to scream once. She explained that to him, and he never asked her again. Right. I like how many topless zombies there are. Like, Where? big fat. There was a big fat dude rubbing his belly well, on the you thing. Think, oh, he's got the pox. Here's the Canada. These are the Canadian yeah. ones that got yeah. stuck in America and then yeah. died. Very polite to each other. Yeah. Uh, that skating rink's no longer in that mall. That's oh, where the food court is now. Man. If you're going to, uh, if you're going, to I want to go to this mall. Yeah, it would be. Do they, do they have like tours, like movie tours, where you kind of tour around and you probably, go to the mall of this, and it, then it probably looks nothing like that like anymore. Norman, yeah, I know, but still, still the mall, right? You go yeah, to Norman yeah. Bates' house or something, or yeah. Bates Motel, or I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, you know, the place where Jason, you go to Camp Crystal Lake. See another topless zombie. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I like. Hey, this guy. is that Francis Ford Coppola? He looks a lot like hey. him. Eh? I like him a lot. He's like, I feel like there should have been a movie, like they should have made a movie about this guy's him. go. Yeah, like a prequel thing, like him discovering all this information, uh, like a la Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got a lot of tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I like She's this. pretty he... much been inconsolable for a while now. She's just like yeah. been up in the room, like well, the guys are out there having fun. Oh, this guy's like, Jesus. She's going out through some stuff. I like that channel, assigned, that TV had one channel and it was channel 10. Good old cable like, ten. Like it was like like there were no other channels on the dial. It just said ten, and then I guess you just had to. You count don't from even there. turn it. The dial's just on there, yeah. and they only get yeah. ten. You get ten. That's what you get. The dial's the illusion of choice. Yeah. The zenith only ten. Mm, I'd say that was a good model, man. <laughs> Do you ever see the zombie episode of Community? I have not. Oh, so good. He basically feeds them all. Like they, he buys his food from a surplus store for their Halloween party. Right. And it ends up being this. He's like, your taco meat was bad. And then he like says in the front, he's like, if found Tango Alpha Zeta five, five. And he's like, sounds delicious. And then all of a sudden, like the army shows up and then they're like, we have to corner everybody off because they all turn into zombies. Right. And then everybody has to, and then like, they have to try and like survive and like get everybody's fever down. Like at the school, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was really funny. That's a good show. 
It was really funny. I I know I mention it all Tacos, the time. Tacos, man, but... they turned me into fucking zombies too. Taco Tuesday, woo, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it turns me into a toilet zombie. I had. Uh, is it racist like to eat tacos on Cinco de Mayo? No, because like I, I I squeezed in some tacos. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, Cinco de Mayo. That's a reason for my late night gluttony. <laughs> if that's the whole thing, if that's the whole reason, maybe it's racist. But I don't think that like just eating it on <laughs> like I hate tacos. I yeah. shovel that. Yeah. Oh, was like, Damn Mexico! Whoa, yeah. just kept shoving it in. Yeah, you've just you've just got like a pinata and this. <laughs> Uh, these zombies. Uh, they, these guys all have really bulgy eyes, except yeah, Elijah. man. That's like that's a George e. Romero yeah. staple. This this guy, and I kind of get it because she's being really kind of a bitch. That's his old lady, or what? Yeah, they're they're dating, right? But like, like literally, he he just asked to she asked to be part of the plans and all that, and they're like, "Yep, fair enough." And then he's like, "God damn it!" Like I was just like, "How can they put a woman in there?" And then, but then he got the gun. Uh, she got the gun, and then because maybe I'll be able to use it, like figure out how to use it, because he's been missing like crazy. Oh, she and, gave him, she threw him yeah. some shade. Yeah, do that. Yeah, we're she through. shaded him out. Yeah. I hope somebody cleaned up the wiper blade of that fucking thing. There's zombie blood flying around. Yeah. Every time you turn the blade on, it looks like a bloody yeah, sprinkler. That's, that's how the rest of the disease <laughs> spread. Is spread just, yeah. <laughs> they don't even know it. It's going like spores oh, all over the place. Is that my mom? Uh, but again, this is just them planning. Yeah. It's a small group of them constantly thinking of ideas, not just like, oh, let's hold, like, let's just hold just up stay and stay really here. Like, let's make them all safe. Yeah, let's the, turn this place into a fortress. Smart idea. BP. I would have. Yeah. I wonder if that's the, B- the real company. Is that that's British Petroleum? Yeah, like, uh, or is that just like Because they're Pardo? all the same trucks. So like this company must have been cool with them, like using the trucks or something. Yeah. Big Papa. But this music. So again, this is Dario Argento's band, the Goblins doing. And this is the it most. Sounds like something out like of the Stripes or something. This is the most garbage music for a zombie movie I've ever heard. It's unex- how it this is, is exactly because bad. because you you don't know right yeah, these no, guys are zombie dudes they make horror they know the yeah, sound right. of horror and that is it yeah that uh, I guess we'd have to go through it to understand so all of this uh, <laughs> all of this chatter is just them uh, just talking them. to it, themselves it's, it's all well but yeah that too but all their sides like well they were talking off of each other but then they shot their own thing by themselves but they um. It was all improvised. They just were like, it was basically just them making fun of one guy being too tall, one guy being right. too small, which actually was a reason Ken Foray was not going to be put in this because of the, or no, Scott Renegar. the AMP. Yeah. Scott Renegar was not going to be cast in this because Ken Foray had already been cast and he's so tall. Right. And then uh, Scott Renegar's like a foot and a half shorter than him. So they, they didn't want such like a height disparity between like the two guys, but they just kind of let it go because here it is, right? You think like you would you be embarrassed if you were like the pantsless zombie? No, like just pants. Do you know what wang, I would give? Dangling. You know what I would give to be a zombie in one of these movies, man? Like holy crap! Like what was it? Was it Land of the Dead where um? Well, it was Nick in Fro- Toronto. No, but Nick Frost and uh, Simon Pegg got to be zombies in it. Man, a nice pretty, face. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was Land of the Dead where they got invited I to be think zombies because so. it was after Shaun of the Dead came out, right? Or Good old Edgar Wright. Mm-hmm. His new one's supposed to be good. Oh yeah. I know what's called about like a getaway driver or something. Oh yeah. If it's, an, if it's not Ant Man, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. The new and improved. Yeah, yeah. my own Ant Man. It's like what they're doing with that Jungle Book. They've the Jungle Book movie came out, did well, Let's and do then they're it like, again. Some, again. And somebody else. Well, they're making a sequel, and then another group a of sequel? people. Yeah, I don't ask uh. me. And uh, there, yeah, it was because it did well, and uh, John Favreau's doing it, and the whole cast is back. But then there's another group of people making another Jungle Book movie with another what, big cast. What, what could the sequel be? What happens uh, in the end? He, he wins. Well, Mowgli's he the wins. man, right? Yeah. Well, it's oh, like, more yeah. shit can happen. A new bad guy comes. Figure it and, out. Yeah. yeah, hippo. Animated. Fig- yeah, we all right, eh? <laughs> Hippos are dangerous, they man. They are the, the most dangerous. Keep an eye out. A lot of plaid in this movie, man. It's because, like... A lot of lumberjacks. Well, because nobody... Because nobody ever has white plastic marbles on them to, like, fend them off. <laughs> right. We're hungry, hungry. Yo, did you see this thing I saw it on Facebook? It's like a projection, and mm-hmm. you can put, like, out your window ghosts, and, like, it looks wicked. Oh, really? You should see this fucking thing. I should it's, like, see the it. perfect thing. And, like, some of them are, like... 
it'll make it look like your TV. You can do it on your TV and it's like somebody's in the TV trying to get out and you can really? do every window, but the things are really good. Like one of them is you can, uh, some of them are so good that it's in your house. Oh, really? Like nice. there's a ghost walking down the hallway. It looks fucking oh, awesome. I, I got to look that up. That sounds amazing. Oh, it looks wicked, man. I was looking at, um, there was a, Oh shit. Yeah. That would be terrifying. She looks like she's a pretty girl. Yeah. Was. Oh fuck. I said is. Uh, okay. Yeah, somebody wants to get his hump on. I would I'm not gonna you know, ladies hey, zombie ladies, man. I'm not yeah. I'm not judging. All the I'll be there ladies. for you. All the zombie ladies. All the zombie oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. So put your hands out. Not up, just out. <laughs> yes. So that's how they walk. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, I was at um one of those Halloween store like those seasonal ones. Ooh. And they had some great like, like spirit. Effect. Yeah, like but they had some great uh, effects things. Like it was a TV, and you turn it on, and like the, like nothing comes on the TV, but a face like pushes through the screen. Right, like, like Freddy that, through like, the wall or yeah. something. Right. Ooh. Yeah, it was re- it was really cool. Like some of the I effects. Why did you think something? Like, You're in the biz. Ugh, that was that was Why did good. he open his mouth? Oh, for that? he's trying to. Oh, he's got on his lip. It really Uh-oh. tells you. It tells you a little something about his lifestyle. That when fluids are spraying at him, he opens his like mouth. Like in what? <laughs> <laughs> when fluids come flying at me, I instinctually bend over and rip <laughs> open my butt cheeks. Yeah. Go go go! <laughs> <laughs> and yell, get in there! Yeah. See, he got some blood in his eye because in 28 days later, buddy got a right in his eye, and like 15 seconds later, he was yeah. turned. Yeah. Ooh, I like that the yeah. first hole, the first hole didn't bleed. I'm guessing that was a mistake, but that's, it, no, like, it's because when he shot the next one, it diverted out that one. Oh, that's I what see. happens. So it's funny because um, he's like the one they hired him specifically because he looked like the cool character kind right. of thing. But they made that on purpose, like because now he's the one. He's the only one who de- like goes into madness. Somebody's got to lose it. I don't know how yeah. I do either. Oh, look at him. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I'm on there. Yeah. Who would you be in this? I feel like I'm meant like I'm the, we just got to survive. Like I'm, I can go for it. Like in the Dawn of the Dead remake, I'm the guy who just is the, like, I can't, I don't know the actor's name. Right. But he's just the one who's just like, this is what we, this is what we need to do. Yeah. He's leader ish. Like, he's just like, here's my ideas. Let's work together. Let's get it done. I'm not going to freak out. I'm, I've got it all together. <laughs> like, but, like, that's the who I am. Right. I don't have any specific training or anything like that. Yeah, I think, I think I'd be the guy who died, like, yeah. doing something stupid but noble. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, I think I'd do something. I just can picture, you know, like, in 20 days later when he runs into the room and his wife is there and you got to make a split second decision. Do you walk over to your wife? Yeah. And die with her, or do you run? I'm probably going to go towards my wife and then die horribly and stupidly. Good. Nice. I don't. I don't blame him for running. No, because like they had her. Yeah, they had her, man. Yeah. Like you got. Yeah, it's and again. Oh it, yeah. It boom. all depends on your situation, right? You might have to. You might have kids to protect on top of that. You know right. right. Exactly. Right. It's all good. I give it up for them being able to back up these trucks so easily. I know. They, I was going to say both of them. Thankfully, they can drive a truck. Yeah. It's it, it is good a, idea. Good it is idea. A, yeah, it's a <clears throat> notoriously difficult job, and they're yeah, and they're doing it expertly. <laughs> like watch out, buddy. Oh, you know what? what? You know that that girl that tried to get in the truck was just an old lot lizard, <laughs> just a zombie <laughs> lot lizard. Because they're yeah. all doing what they remember. So she was trying to give him a Hummer. Yeah. in the fucking truck, man. Maybe he'll buy her a tuna sandwich. They can. They should all be able to say one word. That's the most important. And she goes road head. <laughs> Exactly. Send more cops. <laughs> Send more paramedics. <laughs> oh, on, look Roger. at all these blue faces. Yeah. Oh. Uh, row, row. Again, I would she have... She misses accidentally blows his leg off. That would have been amazing. I would have a lot of leather on. Like, well, I think what I would do is like a hard... Oh, you know what would be good? You know those motorcycle jackets they have now where it's like got the armor plating yep. underneath it, yep. but it's really good. For if you like, fall or something, yeah. right? You can just kind of go on your yeah. forearms and ride yeah. the well, But it's not, they've got them on your chest. They've got them on your back. They've got oh them everywhere, Oh, my God. Right? It's the material that uh, Buddy went in, in a Christmas vacation down the hill. Yeah. So, like, if you hit the road, you're not stopping yeah. until the next town. Or just a full-on thing of chain mail. But a hole for my See, like something like out. that. Fuck it, hey, man. I want to be able to whip my dong out on command. Piss on zombies. Yeah. Piss right on them. 
I would I would piss on zombies. That's another thing they never do is they I well you never really see it. I mean there's there's sometimes people zombies allude to going it to the stuff. bathroom? No, no, not that. Oh. But uh the idea of like hunting zombies right. is like every day go out and kill five kill some zombies it's like you know don't put yourself in any danger right. like if you can't if you can't make your quota so be it type thing but if there are ones out in the open you kill you them make it up another day yeah kill them and the attempt is to kill <clears throat> them quietly so as not to draw new ones and eventually if every group was doing that because if you picture in like walking dead or uh-huh. even in this like there are groups all over the place and if everybody was surviving on their own and were able to take a few out at a time eventually you'd win out it would be wow, slow yeah, they're so oh. oh damn it buddy you bit you bit <laughs> and i Son like that his revenge is to punch yeah but the there's face. so many more zombies so like that would work but then also you yeah. know you got the bad guys <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Some of the dudes that they're maniacs and they just yeah. want to be maniacs. And now they're allowed to be maniacs. Yeah. But see, and I like to think, and again, it might, that looks like Oh, there's like Buddy with the gun. Yeah. I'd like to think that they're like, you know, some some bad times have brought people together pretty well. Yes. Well, would, you know, there's going to be people that go the opposite way, the good and the bad. Yeah. But like, yeah, I feel like, I, I feel like the people who are the crazies and that would be in the minority. Like, I mean, you right. there, there'd be can. more people looking out for each other than there would be that one guy that yeah. would just, and I feel like yeah, we would just, I'm so oh, hungry. I'll kill all yeah. of you. And then, yeah, I feel like as a rule, you would just allow that to, uh, allow that to occur. You right. Know? Like, well, no, it's like the same thing that you yeah. like, like not the same thing, but you know, they show pictures of nine 11 and stuff. And there's this yeah. one awesome picture of like, and apparently it's for real. It's like mm-hmm. the dude's like a, like a real gangster, like a yeah. pimp, like gangster guy. And standing next to him is like one of wall streets, like finest. Yeah. You know, and they're both standing there like, holy yeah. fuck. Like, and the same thing would most yeah. likely happen in his eye. You're right. It's like the you, volcano ending. Right. <laughs> We're all together. They're all, look at all their faces. I was like, you could have just cut to that five, five minutes in. It yep. would have saved me a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, yeah, we yeah, get yeah, it. Don't there. be racist because of volcanoes. <laughs> exactly. You know, do, do you think there's time after being bit to chop your arm off? Like if he had the wherewithal and the balls, the moment he got bit, do you think you could chop it? I, th- yeah, I would think that it's possible. A, he, they didn't have something to cut, chop with. No, at the moment. But I'm thinking yeah. if you did, you had a big mm-hmm. machete on yeah. you, you had the balls, you could just boom. Yeah. Well, if when, when you know that it's between that and survival, this is the only store they go into that's not actually in the mall. They had to shoot this in a ah, gun shop I was, You else. know, that's funny because I was wondering about that. I, it's believable because it's America. Mm-hmm. But and yeah. now the mall has the gun store. Yeah. I don't know if the mall does in America. I don't know. No. I think you still have to go to the gun. Well, Walmart or. Yeah. But yeah, it's. um Yeah, they just basically just did some cutting to just make it seem like this was. Oh, a, yeah. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, Just, I mean, it's really simple. I like that it's weird, like, jungle chants as the music that plays in their store. Ay, 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 ay. As if you walked into, like, the African gun store. Like, there's, like, yeah. big diary tusks in the background yeah. and... Yeah, I think that was honestly just their way of going, these guns are for hunting, not murdering. Right. If you're the animal sense. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're selling hamburgers and stuff, too. I like the sign. <laughs> the, the I old, didn't Like, see at the that. bowling alley when you go get a fucking hamburger. Nice. Watch, they'll show it again in the next one. Uh, I have... I love I love that line. He's got all the best lines in this movie. Oh yeah, because he's also got the like when the dead, uh, w- oh, when there's no room it. left in hell, the, the dead, dead walk there, which the he earth. also says again in the remake, because he's like the priest or whatever on TV. Sweet line. It's a great line, and he got to say it twice. It looks good on a cool, on a t shirt. This is I love the arming up scene. It's also it's, montage. It's, it's zombie killing. It's my montage. favorite. My favorite scene in Phantasm 2 is the arming, the, uh, the getting armed We scene. haven't watched a Phantasm, have we? We have not watched uh, a Phantasm. Oh, boy. But it's, Ooh, what kind like, of gun belt would you like? Shotgun? Are you guys a shotgun guy? I need a bandolier. Like a rifle? What, whatever takes bandolier bullets. Is that it would be a with shotgun. a big knife at the end? No, no, that's a bayonet. Bayonet. The bandolier is the thing you wear across, like, uh, yeah. The, yeah, which they are the, all They have, have right, yeah. yeah. What are you, you going to be a shotgun guy, rifles? I want two pistols. No, we, no, because you, if you're holding two pistols, you can't aim properly with either of them, uh, and you're not going to shoot. You see Mar- El Mariachi? Come on. Yes, yeah, so only only John Woo people and Robert Rodriguez people can shoot like that. Yeah, um, I guess. I don't know. You need something that you can shoot a lot of bullets without having to reload, right? True. Oh, 
It was a so big I, it looked like, like a big hunk of salami came flying out of yeah, his head. Any gun they used in the Terminator would work then because you never okay, reloaded well, like any of those gun, guns. Like a mini gun, you just rip up, just turn them into fucking paper mache. <sighs> yeah. That big friggin' twisty one. Yeah, oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> like, just but, way, like Jesse the Body's gun yeah. and the Predator. You find, though, you find a bunch of like, um, like what would they call the strips of bullets? Those aren't bad. Oh, like, like, like when they come out of like Rambo firing yeah. off in the big, you the feed big in line. The, yeah, you feed it, into the minigun. I don't know what you call those long I strips. I don't know, yeah. Write in, let us know. Yeah. Um, but I Bullet would, strips. Uh, yeah. I, I want a, a minigun with an endless supply of those so you can waste the entire thing per zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well then yeah, you're limited your perfect zombie little place here eh? yeah. you got un- unlimited like you unlocked unlimited yeah. bullets <laughs> like your fucking life hack yeah this is i i think i feel like this may have been the last movie where monsters feared fire because that stopped being a thing after a certain oh, point yeah. right? zombies don't do not like fire that's okay. another one right there zombies do not like fire <laughs> i wouldn't like it either fire back. Well, you think they just run right into it and then they just light, light on fire or get burned or yeah but, but they again, don't like it i like that though they don't again, like it man. It's yeah but hot. again they run on they run on instinct they wouldn't even think about it they're just like i want food maybe the top layer of skin they can actually feel something so they feel the heat That'd be amazing that'd be amazing if you if you bitch slapped a zombie and you hurt its feelings <laughs> You could just, you could see them just go like you could see them just taken down a notch. What about like I always hate like the Stop like, punching zombies. <laughs> it's yeah, every like time the zombie you, punch. Eh? Well, you, you can hurt yourself just by punching them. You can break your hand. Yeah, of course. You it's could silly. get it in their mouth. You could miss and get your arm broken. Punching a I'm, zombie is the dumbest thing. In the I'm world. I'm really surprised that none of them have put any helmets on or anything. Like yeah. they got the sporting goods store. They got yeah. I'm I would that would be my first thing to do, man. Especially after one of your guys has been bitten. Yeah, twice. like I would have the whole thing. Which which uh, which outfit you think would be the football maybe? Yo, you gotta yeah. have your neck and every, everything's gotta be covered, man. Yeah. Well, football is football. gonna be the closest to protect your entire neck. There's no real armor <laughs> or uh, padding that's going to do like from head to neck, around. like you because you need some. to be what able to move. one of those pillows you wear on a plane. You yes. know what I mean? It goes around your pillow. neck. Yeah, that'll fucking do it. I need to pick one of those. Up. I'm, going, one of those on. I'm going to Vegas. Yeah, next that, month. that'll get you, buddy. Look at. I love this. Well, I mean, it's like he's when you're out of bullets, you throw the gun at them. He's intensely limited. He's been bitten twice. Oh. What kind of a big squib? I wonder if that would give you a headache, man. That thing going off right on your head. I'm certain it would. But you got... Climb. Oh, this oh, is... Oh, yeah. Dig in, baby. Seconds. That one, seconds. That one was the more... That would probably be the most painful. That one looked the oh. most painful to me, even more than the bites. Yeah, I think so, too, because it's already hurting, right? And then they yeah. just... And now I'm just poking at it. it. <clears throat> oh, here's the nun. Here's the nun from The Conjuring. <laughs> See again, they didn't do. They did her face, but not her legs. She had per- unless they were unless that was like nylons or something, because she had perfectly like pink legs. Oh, there was Buddy. So this movie, it's one of our few movies that has less a uh, lower audience score than its actual original Rotten Tomatoes like critic score, oh. but high for both. Ninety two percent on Rotten to- for Rotten Tomatoes, ninety percent audience on Rotten Tomatoes. Nice. So. Ooh. There you go, buddy. Nice and again, it, it's because it was Listen super music. original. Oh, it's, dude, I can't, I cannot deal with it. It sounds like something that you'd hear in like the action parts of like Logan's Run or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. In like one of those. It sounds like, it sounds like, um, what was it? The, uh, oh, wow. the Great Escape or whatever it was. Yes. Like, doo, doo, yes. Doo, doo, That's ex- exactly. Doo. Yeah. Like, like in the, like the army is. Like they're finally, oh, the plan is coming together and they're going to get out. You could tell they had a gag there that they either didn't shoot or it just didn't look good because the guy's arm was stuck in the door and then you see him just force the door closed. So, you know, that arm broke off. Right. But I lo- <laughs> look at that lady. See that lady? Yeah. She was doing great. Good yeah. job, grandma. We need somebody in the mall. I feel like see, now there's not enough union. people for them to push through. Great idea. Yeah. Great idea. That's not a great idea. Holy jeez, look at the big bruiser. That's the yeah. same kind of battery that powers my dildo. Nice. <laughs> Two of them, really. I need a backup one. Yeah. He's like, I, I can pound a new asshole anywhere in my body. It just like, <laughs> creates it one. It just creates one that poop will come out of. Damn right. I like that that Boom. kind of looks like we'll a DeLorean. Hell. Yeah. yeah. That car kind of looks like the DeLorean. Yeah, it kind of does look like yeah. a DeLorean. Oh, Baker shoes. Yeah, it's just Free a advertisement, man. Oh, yeah. you're garbage. Like these places all look familiar 
in like older yeah, malls and stuff. Yeah, they do. I, mean, I, I feel like I've I, been here. Yeah, not that. Yeah, we've never been to this mall, but it's. I think we've all been here in spirit. Yeah. Yes. No license plate. Well, it was inside. It's one like a display thing. There's never a license plate in the cars inside. All oh, right, you're right. The one you're gonna win. Nobody ever wins that gotcha. fucking car. Gotcha. Car. I really uh, misspelled a lot of things when I wrote my notes. Oh, I type well, it. I type it really know. fast, right? Don't so, say it misspelled, and they won't know. That's, yeah, I know, but I'm trying to be honest with our fans. That he writes his notes with his feet naked. Oh, hey, yeah. oh, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, who's a baseball player. I did like that in and, the remake where they're shooting, like, shoot Burt Reynolds, and they're picking celebrities. That and, was uh, fantastic. I didn't always agree, though. He looked more like Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was, that was like, I we would have had a weird game. He looks like Jamie Kennedy. Did this movie scare people back in the day? Oh, I guarantee it. Guarantee it. They were, like, like when you hear about the reaction to some of these movies... Like, um, uh, Exorcist being the best example is like people were throwing up in the audience and running, screaming Mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. And, um, what was it? It's a movie that's on shutter right now. I can't remember the name of it. It's a night watch or something like that. It was, uh, it was very like war of the worlds. It looked like a uh, news broadcast of like, you know, the it was shit going down. It was like an apocalypse style deal. Night watch. That's not the one by the guy, uh. The crazy one. No. I think you're thinking a different. Uh, I'm thinking a different night. There was Daywatch, Night Watch by like Colin Trevorrow off, mm. and he did like Baywatch. Yeah, I wish. I don't know why I think that movie's gonna be friggin' terrible. Yeah. Oh, look at their look at their handiwork. A good day at the mall. A good day's work. Okay, yeah, it wasn't. Hey, there, there was something. Watch. Oh, we just missed it. I wish we could go back or pause. Yeah, we, we don't they had that. a shot where it looked like somebody was fucking around in the. A little grate in the middle of the fountain or something. Oh, really? Like a little continuity error or something. Oh, we caught him. This is a good idea. Yeah. Put up a fake wall, make it look like the. Uh... See, and again, every they think of everything, and literally, like he said, looters are going to come mm-hmm. in eventually. He's like, they can just sit there and never be detected. I like that they're giving him the good thing. These these are pretty handy guys. I don't like the idea, though, because she's like a newscaster. They have no. I I would like to see some kind of thing that says, oh, I'm capable of doing this. Like Sarah Polly is a nurse in the remake. Right. She's fully capable of doing this. Yeah. Does she get her scene this way? She's kind of just holed up in the room there while the guys go out and play that. It starts to come a little bit later um, because the shit hits the fan, baby. Yeah. Because like she starts to learn how to like fly the helicopter and all right. that good stuff. Oh man, you don't want to be that guy. You know what? I would have just blown my brains a long time ago. The moment that thing bit me, yeah, I'd be like, Pow! "Fuck it." Now you know what? I go get a couple smokes, yeah, bottle of whiskey, <laughs> and like in some of those zombie movies, I'd go out, I'd sit up on the roof, yeah. and I'd fucking just get loaded, smoke a pack of bots, yeah. and then right when you feel the change, jump the fuck off. <laughs> was ghost watch the movie i was thinking about ghost okay because yeah night watch is a different yeah that it's that a different russian movie. guy who i think did uh uh abraham lincoln yeah. vampire hunter there you go whipped it whipped over some whipped cream look at that yellow shirt that's the kind of yellow shirt that um like apollo creed wore in rocky three when they were like running on the <laughs> that's beach the apollo together. i'll take the apollo he walked into yeah. the store that was the gayest movie in the history of the world. What? Rocky three? Rocky three. Running on the beach, jumping up and down, and hugging, splashing, <laughs> hugging each other. Oh uh, yeah, the Russian dude. It was, that was an awesome movie. It was a wig. No, Russian dude was part four. Mr. T was part three. Oh, part three was T. Yeah. Man. Oh man. We got to do a Rocky a movie soon. Oh fuck, she's friggin' with Ralph and she can't handle it anymore. Yeah. It's a preg- it's a zombie baby. Yeah. That was a good thing in Dawn of the Dead too. The zombie yeah. baby. Well, I, I found it cheesy but fun. So. Wouldn't it be a zombie baby, though, if she was a zombie? It would be, but I was just, you saw it, and I was just like, it looked dumb. And I what, was the, just the baby? Like, yeah. I loved it. It looked it kind, was awesome. It looked kind of like a Cabbage Patch kid that just fell in ink. <laughs> <laughs> it was just... Zack Snyder, yeah. too, did the remake. Yeah. I love that Diane uh, Lane, or... Uh, Lane oh. story that you told before. Tell, yeah. Just tell it real quick. I was fucking okay. I just retell. <laughs> I just retell the story. Uh, we told. We told it a couple weeks ago. Uh, well, a few yeah, weeks ago now. Not the new but, part you said today. No. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, did they ask Diane Lane if, uh, or if uh, the Justice League movie was going to blow the Avengers out of the water? And her answer was just simply no. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's honest. And, and she said too, she's like, I'm sorry to disappoint you. She's like, I have to be honest. I was like, and oh I d- my God. Why would they continue after the very first one? Why would they continue after Man of Steel? Cause they you know where this is going. The investment is in. They had no. You can't like, back was, out. Like you must be able to you, be like, fuck this. We haven't started making the next movie yet. You you can back out, but I think that there's, they have a well. A that they're still making money. They're not failing. Oh no, they're making a shit ton. But so, then no, but then the, when the net, well yeah, well, yeah. I guess it's everyone. Is, is it considered risk, a success? Then they're it's gonna make a shit ton. Oh, of, money. of course. Financially. If it makes money, nobody gives a shit if it was good or bad. People actually liked it. I hear people yeah. saying like, oh, I liked Batman versus Super. I'm yeah. like, are you on fucking drugs? Yeah. Like what the uh, no, shit? There were some people. I disagree with them wholeheartedly, but that's just. That uh, was quite possibly the worst thing I've ever seen. I am also. Look at you. Take the money. Yeah. I am. Also, <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the point? I would take it just to have it. Oh, exactly. But, like, it's completely useless. Yeah. Well, you never know. Life is going to come back and then you. Yeah. Oh, I just said it to you. You never know. Yeah. Well, they said too. Like, um, you ever see the show Revolution? That was on. I don't think so. It was like basically all the power goes out. That would not still be on. That would have been the spot in the other movie where the uh, Down with the Sickness by Richard Cheese right. came on. Yes. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. <laughs> you motherfucker. Yeah. The. Um, oh, she looks good. What was I just saying? See, I get too distracted by actually watching the movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. Oh yeah. No, in Revolution. They like everything because like literally just everything turns off one day. All the all the electricity, so right. anything that uses any kind of oh, like, I know mechanism. what you're talking about. Yes, I got and you. It was, that, yes. it was actually pre- it was actually quite good. Uh, it's not, uh, it was only one season, right? It was two seasons, oh. and then uh, it was going to get picked up for a third somewhere else, and then it just didn't. Um, but, but he hasn't was, changed it. I wonder how long it's been. It's taken a long fucking yeah, time. It's been well. I mean, I would say at this point, it's probably been like a couple weeks. Oh, cheese time. Breaking into the fucking canned goods. See, like, then this is it, too. When you have access to groceries, and go we'll, get all the perishable stuff and just friggin' mow it down. Because it's going to be gone it's anyways. Gonna go so bad. you might as well just, you might as well use it, right? Gain the, 50 pounds. You know what? You got to get on the pop, too. That's yep. going to go bad eventually. Mm-hmm. All that shit's going to go bad. But not in zombie apocalypse. Because, I mean, like, the gas never goes bad. And well, it does in real life. It turns into gel. That's right. <laughs> but where is the power coming from? Is it somewhere down inside the mall? They like, mention, a, like where they mention a generator. Cause like the whole thing, point. you think that you'd yeah. shut off most of the lights. Yeah. Even so then people outside wouldn't be like, Hey, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think again, it's one of those things. I think they made mention of if you turn one thing on, it all comes on type. Right. Thing. I like, obviously, but I like these mm. ideas too. Is like, it gives them the haircut and it's just like, it's good. They have see they're having a good life. Ah, but- they're like gangbusters, man. They're getting along like gangbusters yeah, now, man. Right? That's fucking cheating, bro. That's like how I played uh, duck fucking hunt. duck hunt. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that fucking you're racing like, game. You're like mushing it into the TV. It's like I can't get it any closer. <laughs> and I'm still losing. <laughs> like <laughs> that video game looks like <laughs> <garbage. laughs> I'm Like you better stop fucking laughing at me, dog. I'll shoot you if I had the opportunity. Yeah, look at that freaking look at racing this, game. Look, look, see, I feel like he actually is a zombie through a portion of this. Like, look at his face and his like reaction to things. And <laughs> like, is like, like, that's like the that's the first Forza yeah. Horizon there, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's oh, Jesus! These guys are gonna, so you hear some dog bark? Yeah, or they something. All, they all growl. Well, how bored? Don't you think as a zombie, wouldn't you just could, could you just get bored? Be like, yeah. okay, fuck them all, man. We're not getting in. Well, anything else would distract them. So, I mean, if somebody sh- shot a gun like a couple They'd miles away, they would and turn. start walking that way. But because there's so much noise coming. Oh. I love that he's wearing. Just like Ghostface Killer. He's, I was thinking Dolomite just from Dolomite, the time. Dolomite, yeah. Just from the time. Because Ghostface Killer would have been like eight when yeah. this came yeah. out. And I don't think he was so ghost facey as he oh, was here just it like is. a little kid. Oh, what a great line. My granddaddy used to tell us. I do not know Makumba. You know, you know Makumba? Oh, it's voodoo. Yeah. It's voodoo. I know Santeria. <laughs> oh, fuck. He knew. Yeah. I knew it was up. Dead will walk the earth. I disagree. Yeah. There's lots of room oh. down there. I like that the two people wearing the fur coats are the are the girl and the and the big black dude. Hell yes. I had a fur coat. Oh shit. That Todd bought me. 
Oh hell yes! He he went to like what was the Value Village or whatever. The value Village. It. Yeah, sorry. Or I maybe not. I don't know what it was back in the day. It was yeah. it was, was it back? It was Value Village back. I don't. Back whatever. Then? Whatever it was. It whatever was some, thrifty like, sec- store yeah. it was. And yeah. got me the most badass. It looked like <clears throat> kind of like a lamb wool, but kind. Of, I don't know. Like it was hard to explain. You said but a I, gangrel would wear. But I wore it, and it was the hottest thing in the world. It was like, you and could he look, means in the sense that he was so fucking sexy that yeah. it just was breaking up couples yeah. wherever he went. It, it was, was awful. I stayed a virgin through a, the bulk of high school just because I was so sexy that people you're could like, not stand to be near me. You're like the sexy Noah. Yes. You know, parting the sea. Like he would walk, people would part and they would yeah. stare. Like, That's him right there. Most women would just fall backwards yeah. and their legs would open. Blowing, just like, blow, sploosh. Which just I really everywhere. should, I shouldn't say because now I know some of these people from high school still as moms and stuff like that. And it's just like, and <laughs> well, now you can't picture like, a half a license plate flying out covered in goop. <laughs> a couple of fish heads. Again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh. That's all I picture. I go through all these old <laughs> school albums and I'm like, what fell Ew. out of her? No, it's you know? just they're such lovely people now, and it's just like everybody's just become adults, and it's like weird. Well, I yeah, like, they I became like, lovely. I didn't. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I know who I am. They did a really good job. Like like in this scene, it's not on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Todd's giving a finger to the camera, but the what camera the died hell? already. It only lasts so long. What the? F- yeah, just like me. <laughs> just Hello. like my love. love. It's got to end sometimes. That's not. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean it's short. Yeah. You know, that's just, it's got to end. Yeah. Sometime. Would Somebody would. But look oh, at his, like, Jesus. He's the, giving right the makeup that they've done is so subtle and good, like, that he's fading now, and I like it a lot. And I like this idea of, I'm going to try to not come back. And like, I wonder how Tom Savini felt when watching the movie for the first time and being like, oh, fuck, look at their blue faces. The, and uh, seeing the very first frame of the movie and then being like, for fuck's sakes. Like, and, but I don't understand. Like, I feel like they could have easily I agree with gotten you. on top. Yes, of it. yes. Like, the, you watch dailies mm. as, yeah. as a filmmaker and they're like, ooh, I don't like the look of that. We're going to do some reshoots. Yeah. Like, and it's simple. And it's just like, they're okay. just like, no, no, we bought all the tubs of makeup. Yeah. Bulk. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're not going back. Yes. It's called Uh-oh. Zombie Gray. I think, I feel well, like. Where are these guys at? John, I don't know. I like, wonder what happened to the, the you know, it, it would be, I wonder what happened to the studio. In the beginning, was the studio being overrun by zombies or something? Or wasn't did being they overrun just, by zombies. People were just trying to get the hell out. Yeah. Maybe they should have maybe yeah. stayed. Well, they got a better TV, you know, it's the one, well, the shitty do, yeah. ones next to him. And then they've got one that's actually got other channels. <laughs> but this is the only thing that's going on. Ooh, you know, everybody be drinking. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Here's the sad part. There we go. Why'd they give him a gun? <clears throat> just in case. Yeah. Just in case zombies, in case he wanted to do it himself. <laughs> well, why would you, if you're wearing a... Uh, <laughs> the glasses and the if, eye patch? If you're wearing an eye patch, <laughs> why don't you get a monocle? I know, right? But then how does that stay on? You're going to be always like squinting? Yeah, like, well, it's specific. It, it's the answer to why he's not wearing the glasses, but it's fun for me. <laughs> it's fun for me to say. It's <laughs> just how I feel. How dare you a monocle? I haven't seen a monocle in fucking forever. I have six. I wear one on each eye. I <laughs> just like, it's I was like, like the new why don't you matrix get shades? Yeah, exactly. It's a steampunk Morpheus. The, oh, uh, no. I'm still watching the tube, yeah. eh? The zombie apocalypse. Yeah. You can do anything in the world and you're watching fucking TV. I would have dumped, uh, just dumped him over the side Royal rumble style. And, <laughs> uh, just another weapon for outside. Should anybody else come? Oh, he looks good there. So he instantly, like he, he looks kind of like one of the like dead, uh, guys when they go to get help in Beetlejuice. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like he's one of the guys. Yeah, in line. Cause like, he doesn't look like any other zombie. He's actually great. You could tell they went, made sure to make him look good. Yeah. Like the other guys, they just slap. They just like. Oh, they slapped it They on. probably just had like a paint roller. Oh, yeah. And just were like, you had a big assembly line. Yeah. Done. One roll over your face. Move along. Done. Yeah. I like that uh, guy. Oh, did somebody. They just killed someone on the TV there? No, he killed the uh, oh. other dude. Look That's at that. So on the only the people eyes with on giant him. eyes. Can you know who through. he looks like, man? House. Yeah. He looks like House and D. Yeah. He does That's what lot. he looks like. He looks a lot like Hugh Laurie, yeah. He reminds me of John Reese davies this uh, guy with the eye patch. This guy's losing it, too. But, uh, Buddy, you're thinking about it too much, yeah. man. Just get drunk. 
Yeah. Oh, I just like, enjoy. I like you assholes are not listening to me. <laughs> I just, just, just listen. That's like you every podcast, <laughs> muttering subliminals in the I'm background. Just, everywhere I go, I take, I go Fucking take a bathroom guys. break, Fuck and I just guys. rub my temples and just like, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I just want everybody to be dead but me. Oh, b- b- shooting practice. Yeah. You well, got, even if you're running on ice, you need to be able to hit them in the head. This yeah. guy's got a good at the throat kills here. Yeah. I Well, I'm kind of confused why they chose ice to do it on. I guess it's a big, long area. I'd maybe roll out a carpet. I also like the deal that the black guy became their servant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it. <laughs> totally right. Well, hopefully they switch up and this is just the day we say. It looks like he's pretty good. I don't know who yeah. cooked that. It looks pretty fucking good, though. They, they should say, switch. Well, little bok choy uh, yeah. vegetable thing going on there. Every day, the t- two people are a couple, and it's different people, and they have to have sex. They have to. Yeah. So the two, it was weird for the two guys at first, but they're into it now. Yeah. You know, who's gonna judge? It's a fucking yeah. zombie apocalypse. Well, that was the uh, in Day of the Dead. The one guy, the the Jamaican guy, says that he's like, "Let's go to an island. We'll make some babies." But he's <laughs> suggesting that three guys and one girl go. <laughs> And I'm like, so what's going to be the deal? Are they just like, like to make sure that you get like a slightly deferred population? You're going to have this guy's baby. Then you're going to have that guy's baby. Yes, that's right. No jealousy. No. Timeshare. That's a vagina timeshare. Yes. I feel like there's a better way of putting that. No. I don't know. Uh, think about it for a minute. No, I don't want to spend too much time killing you. <laughs> no, I mean like don't you know keep yeah, yeah. talking, no, but you know I'll, think I'll, about I'll, it while you're yeah, talking. I'll think of nothing else. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, who's who's time slot? Are we filling Ooh, this time? Now? Time slot. Ooh, time slot. yeah. Uh, we got a lot of things. Okay, lot of things right. Going. Oh, they're getting married Poor here. Thing. They're exchanging rings and vows. Would you, would you marry? Go fuck yourself. I wouldn't marry you if you're the last man on earth. Well, I fucking am. Thanks. Yeah. It's just, oh, she's thinking about it. Isn't that brutal? Like she doesn't just, even want it. Like, it's holy just, yeah. fuck, lady. It's just me or a colored fellow. So you choose. <laughs> I'll remember. I choose the, a colored fella. This is the, yeah, looking well, right. Yeah, he's looking dude. He's the useful dude. Oh, oh I don't yeah. know that neither of them are good looking. I think the. Uh, I, I actually think what's the black gentleman's name? Ken Ferre. Ken, I think he's. I think he's pretty attractive. Not gonna lie yeah. to you. He. I don't know. He's got a forehead, man. And I know I'm. That's a lot for me to say. <laughs> but that you can't have two foreheads. Yeah, you can't have true. two overpowering foreheads in one relationship. It's no. too much forehead. It's because, yeah, if you had a baby, it would just be a head. Yeah, it would just it would be just a forehead. <laughs> a forehead with arms yeah. and legs and an asshole to shit out of. <laughs> oh, man. Look at these. Like, that yeah. was unfulfilling mm-hmm. sex. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, we're broken up, but there's nobody <laughs> else here to make love to. Yeah, there sure is. Well, I would have made whole love to the throat hole in one of the mannequins. That's why he was shooting. <laughs> <laughs> is that the boobs hanging out right there. Yeah, that would have been am- that would have been amazing. You see that they break up in their own way, and he's just by himself, like cry. That fucking. is what it looks like every time I have sex with someone. Yeah. So afterwards, it's like, oh fuck, mm, remorse. Yeah. You know, you're like sitting there drinking wine, eating a family bag of chips to yourself while pregnant. Oh yeah, that's me. That's there it is. My favorite part. She is smoking, and well, she's not smoking in this scene, but she has been smoking this whole time, and she has been pregnant this whole time. I want to know what kind of brand of chips that is, man. Yeah. I like what's my favorite scene in the remake is well, we're going to do the remake. I don't know why we're talking so much about it, but uh, yeah, it's going right? to ha- it's gonna happen. You know what day. we do is we just take out when we talked about it here, yeah. slap it on Dawn of the Dead remake. We're done. That'll, yeah, that'll save Two for time. one, just like fucking Full yeah. Moon Entertainment. Love. Squeeze as much <laughs> shit out of the same fucking thing as we can. Look at that picture of a hot dog vagina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's art for you. That's the title that's of this uh, episode. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Every, every now and again, somebody says, on. oh, yeah, he's got it going. See, he's already See, his, he, his eyes are bugging out like he's on this, like he's on the surface of Mars yeah. right now. Like, I don't get like you get you asked to Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, they're starting Uh-oh. To... See, and that's the thing. This is where I get bothered. They've been there a while. These things should be half decomposed by now, except fat ass there. <laughs> but <laughs> not to body shame a zombie, but come on. I don't think he minds. Yeah, I don't he, think he minds. Yeah, they, that one has not eaten in probably a month at this point that one was pretty fresh if you okay so i'm gonna go back to the you know sex zombies (laughs) if you have sex with a zombie yeah i like when you go to the afterlife maybe you lose points but what if it's like a nun zombie what if you like rape and can you rape a zombie none of them can say yes so the answer is every single one of them is raped look at that fucking makeup but what if you were having she looks like a somebody who can't speak that looks like Patrick Swayze and Too Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Dumar. 
<laughs> it kind of <laughs> looks like if David Bowie yeah. was playing Blondie in a movie. <laughs> That's great. What's her name? Well, Na- uh, uh, it looks like. Oh, like, that, see, that's the voice of uh, George oh, Romero's wife. There it is. Yeah. Um, no. Anyways, yeah, yeah. You can always get some kind of indication that it's a yes or a no for sex. And, like what about? Ooh. Well, that's that is true. That's how I get. That's how my wife gives me permission. Because <laughs> we we record these late, and then when Todd goes home, I get like I put everything away, and then I just start shaking her. She goes, Ugh, and I'm like, all right, good enough. Baby. You're married. It doesn't count as anything then. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at this old double record player. It's your fault for falling asleep. What is that other one for? I don't really understand. Those were the worst liquor bottles. Look at that to... chair. Yeah. I always like that. I've seen that. those chairs. What? Like, 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 you know, taking your liquor and then pouring it into something swanky, a decanter, a decanter yeah. or whatever. I, I always like that. I like that the bulk of their furniture is just the boxes that they should be eating out of. I got all those fifties, man. Don't uh, be losing the whole thing, man. I would be You're telling the wife. See, that's why I like the other Dawn of the Dead, because there's so many more survivors. Yeah, it's more. It's, uh, well, no, it's just like you're less likely to go crazy. And you have I, could Ty not be with this, I could not be with the same two people for the remainder of my life, especially when they're in a bad relationship. Oh, my God. Yes. And, you know, eventually you're you're going to be banging her eventually. If you're oh, stuck absolutely. like this for years and years and years and years and then the animosity that comes along with it, that's why you just have to give it up right away. Just be like, you know what? Three way. Yeah. You know what somebody should do? Do a remake again of all remake of the, the remake. Yeah. Do a remake again of all of the uh, of the living dead movies or of the dead movies and then have a fourth movie where the survivors all converge. Right, where you get them all. Well, could it be like an episodic thing? Like, mm-hmm. like you know, just because the Walking Dead's out there, you can't like, yeah. they don't have the fucking market on zombie. Oh, their relationship's breaking yeah. down. I just like the, I like the idea of you have all these people come together and they all find one place because they all get away in similar kinds of ways. I think in all three movies, they get away via helicopter. I think you are correct. Because helicopter seems like the best thing to have. Yeah. So. Well, it's like in this movie and Day of the Dead, they have a helicopter pilot who does it. Yes. In the in the first movie, they get evacuated and they're in a helicopter at the end. Y- or yes. at least in the remake, I don't recall. I don't think there original. is a helicopter in the first one. In the first one, probably. Not. I don't think there were helicopters because they just the cops show up. He's in the basement. Yeah. But the Wright brothers pr- playing <laughs> run by. Up. Yeah. Zombie Wright. Yeah. Oh, look, they, oh. they seem like they're kind of happy again yeah, here it's now. Getting, it's getting together. I'll tell you, it's the truth. Sometimes I get stuck on a boat for three months, which is yeah. probably going to happen soon. This and it is like and you're ahead. stuck and you're stuck in a room yeah. with somebody who absolutely hates you for yeah. no reason at all. Yeah. Other than that, they're fucking miserable and they hate themselves. And mm-hmm. you're so after three months, I'm just like, wow, the fact that I haven't murdered you in yeah. your sleep is a testament of the strength within yeah. me. It's the it's the forced rooming thing. Like I never understood that too. Like you always see, like oh, I'm this my best friend is the guy I live with in my dorm, yeah, or something like that. Now, in at least in the Canadian dorms, there's Tom there Savini, is. and there's like his assistant guy. Those are the two guys who did all the stunts oh, in this. Oh shit! Here we go. We're here already. Yeah, trucks. Well, yeah, it's we've been talking for a long time. My God, it's been an hour. We've been at this for about an hour forty. Seriously? Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, man. So, you know what? This movie is a lot better than I remember it being. Yeah. I remember really liking Dawn of the Dead remake a lot. Yeah. And like I said to you before, I, I like the Dawn of the Dead remake more, but this one really holds up. It's really it does. good. It does. And there's such good ideas behind it. Yes. And they idea. started it, right? So yeah. is it pro- is it proper for movie fans to like the remake more? Like, I know you can, yeah. but but technically, like, that, that wouldn't have even have happened without the first one. Oh, of course. But the... It it really depends because I think some movies call for a remake Mm -hmm. because technology has allowed things have gotten better or or... just like when they started remaking when they started doing new zombie movies like Twenty Eight Days Later and stuff like that and you saw a new breed of zombie in your way. uh, Dawn of the Dead wanted to do that and then they're like we can bring it we can bring it a little bit more into the future and do that and I mean because that's one thing is this does not hold up for time right right so that's they're able to do that a a movie that I I am pleading for somebody to remake is Cannonball Run. Say again, Cannonball Run. Right. The you know the race across the country, comedy, chocked full of stars. Yep. 
you get some of the Fast and Furious people. You have that style of driving and that style of stunts because mm-hmm. Hal Needham did the uh, Cannonball Run movies and he did all like the stunt stuff for Smokey and the Bandit. Right. And that kind of thing. He was the guy but back in the day, right? For that cars. was that style. That style doesn't count anymore. You have crazier style. You have faster cars. You have like crazier Crazy types of cars. Shit. Right. And so you bring back maybe a couple of the old people for little like, uh, thing for a little uh, cameos here and there right and um and did, yeah, did like, these guys try and contact them all or something yeah they, they were, were just, talking to them over the radio or something yeah they or were did they just not answer they just they specifically didn't answer they're trying oh, and so to. that's why he was like oh you're not going to share we don't like that i have a feeling no matter what yeah. you answered they were yeah. going to be like work out you fucked up yeah exactly well yeah because uh, it's like yeah we'll let you in and we can all share and then it's like oh there's we're gonna four of you, you we're gonna chop yeah and answer. then we're gonna rape the girl to death yeah. And maybe the bulgy-eyed white guy. Definitely the bulgy-eyed um, white guy. Coming up, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. Yeah. But in the mini-sode, I asked everybody on this one to look out for something, and it's coming really soon. Yeah. It's and a- it's the best fucking moment in cinema history. Yeah. He'll point it out to you when we get there, <laughs> if you don't see yourself. But while we got a couple quick seconds, we'll talk about Tom Savini. So he's a makeup special effects guy. Um, he... Did make up for the first Friday the 13th and the fourth Friday the 13th, the Day of the Dead, uh, Monkey Shines. He directed the Night of the Living Dead I need remake. I see Monkey Shines again. Is that yeah. a good gore in it or what? I don't even remember it. <sighs> Not really. It's actually, uh, it's made a couple of really bad movie lists and it's been on a couple of bad movie podcasts. Rope and ladder. Like that. Yep. See, we've already solved this yep. problem. Uh, but actually what's funny is Tom Savini's biggest, um, uh, his biggest part of his resume is acting. Like he was in from Dust Till, uh, Dust Till Dawn. He was in the Dawn of the Dead remake. He was in Planet Terror. Zachy, Zach and Miri make a porno. Machete, Machete kills. Oh. Django Unchained. Like he's in all yeah, kinds of Yeah, the guys that like, you know, because it was all you have to do yeah. back in the day is like be, do some iconic stuff. Yeah. Which he did. He was yeah. like the grand, he's one of the grandfathers of gore. I don't know yeah. when the Dario Argento movies came out in, in conjunction, you know, with this one or whatever, yeah. like which one was before or after, but those two yeah. guys, like Romero and. Argento were like yeah. horror guy. Did did Tom Savini do the Dar- Dario Argento movies? Um, no, because Dar- Dario Argento, like he did almost all of them in Italy, uh, Italy and stuff yes. like that. But anybody who doesn't know him, uh, he did like Suspiria, which is like one of the great all time international yep. movies, which they're remaking right now. I just heard. I That's don't. That's right. Um, somebody. Uh, Tom York from Radiohead just signed on to do the music for it. Oh, fuck. So that'll be interesting. Uh, and he did like Tenebra. He did Demons was the like the big American release for him. Really? It's going to be Tom York? Yeah. I love Radiohead. Yeah. Well, there we go. Um, it's going to be very ambient and robot Yeah. And Dario Argento, his uh, daughter is Asia Argento. You may have seen her in like Triple X or Land of the Dead. She was in Marie Antoinette. The um, That's the one he likes to film naked. Yeah. Yes. Oh, here come the bikers. Fucking bikers, man. Yeah, friggin' bikers. A lot of these bikers were actually from the local chapter of the Pagans just on volunteer to show oh, up. Cool. And, like, and so, like, if you see the guys who have, especially the guys with the crazier bikes, those are their bikes. Oh, like, cool. They were not provided bikes. They I showed like the, up. The, the three wheel one is fucking. Oh, I just went by. It's going to come around the circle there somewhere. That's the guy. Yeah, I just. There, right there. Out. I would be on a three wheeled bike well, because I don't want to yeah. have to. That was always my thing. Like uh, in uh, Sons of Anarchy, there was the old guy who was on the three wheeled bike, and I'm like, that just seems better. You don't have to worry about like flipping over. If yeah, because you, know, you can carry some shit in the back if yeah. you want. Like somebody maybe can like a there. change of underwear or yeah. you know some new stirrups. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's my big thing about like motorcycles is it's one of the it's one of those things if you're going out just a little too fast or you just anything it just instantly. You like you're just on your face, right? They, like it. Just, what, what did those guys just shoot to make the thing go off? I have no idea. I feel like it was kind of like a Golden Eye N- Nintendo sixty four thing, where you just shoot a door enough, and then it just and opens. Yeah, it'll you. it'll open up. Or they shot like the console, electric yeah. console behind it, in it, which is not where those things were opening up before. When you want, like all the other ones, they were manually lifting them up. Ooh, ooh, he's on a crotch pennies. shot. There's yep. the sheriff. It's the new sheriff from town. That guy looked like um, I can't remember his name from like he was a. He was a guest guy in Friends, and he was in uh, Saving Private Ryan and shit like that. Oh, my like God. That. Taking a that, dead woman's jewels right there's off. There's nothing better than robbing word. a zombie. You, and a Maya Angelou zombie. Yeah, like and he laughs. These guys are all right, yeah. eh? Having a good time. They're, they're like the guys who, okay. like, pull down their pants. Oh, this is my favorite. The pies. <laughs> oh, my Lord. They're pieing <laughs> the zombies. 
Uh, that girl like, didn't look like she was in a gang at all. No, you can tell like this is one of those like this is a Negan Listen kind of music, group. music, eh? Yeah, this is a Negan kind of group that is taken out like taken on people. Like that's Negan there. Yeah, for Tom Savini, it was seltzer water. The old <laughs> gags never go out of style. He was like seltzer, yeah. you goddamn. Yeah, I don't you even understand. I don't understand the point of seltzer water. Like, is it being carbonated? So is wallet. Is it just water that's being carbonated on the way out? I I, I never got it. Yeah, I thought know, the whole thing was made just for right. old gags. Yeah, I just see club soda. Or, or here that's exactly that's like exactly that. like, it's like the same thing, right? As club soda. I was literally yeah. just going to say that club I, soda, I same concept. Know. We'll never know because I'm not looking oh, at it. My. But, somebody oh my! Somebody tell us. Up, somebody picked up the suit and then he put it back. He's like, "Yeah, okay. dirty." Why is any of that money left over? They should have taken it. Uh, took it. They, they should have taken They're not petty. greedy. Yeah, they took enough just for their savings. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe exactly. every week they go in and kind yeah. of take some out, you know, like yeah. a bank transaction. Yeah. Enough for a solid RRSP. Oh, this guy's got the play. jewel on his head. At least yeah. this gang's cool with, you know, like your fashion style. Like, oh, right here. Yeah. Here it is. Uh, Look, your buddy's getting his fucking, like, yeah. <laughs> they're getting their goddamn. It, is like, <laughs> it happens again, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's your concern. You know what? Yeah. Health first, you know? Yeah. See, and what's really. Oh. F- yeah, there it is. Bring out the fucking cavalry yeah. here. What kills me though is the whole idea of having the wall built and all that is right. so if because they said if looters come or anything like that, we'll be able to hide. And the first thing they do is they're not hiding. Start shooting them. Yeah. Well, they knew they yeah. were there. Yeah. Because they were So now but now you have to put yourself oh, in the Oh, he's mortal. got a Tommy gun. But like they knew they were there and it's like we should just like Stay here because it's like, where are they going to look? They're going to look, find nobody, finish looting, and probably and leave. Then that's it, exactly. Or probably stay. Well, he like he they got clothesline. He, he got clothesline by that one. Oh, nice. You look think maybe hair. they'd be smart enough to smart enough to know, like, hey, maybe we should stay here. I don't know. They feel like I feel like they're just oh. like. I feel like they're just take and uh, move on, kind of like virus kind of people. Yeah, I think they All would right? move too. I think they'd move along. Yeah. Is they want oh, they're a kid zombie. Oh, she's on the phone. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, we got to, like, don't run buddy over, yeah. man. Like, that was a pay phone. Shit. Again, just reminding all my millennial friends. <laughs> what was that? Oh. oh. It's so good. They, It's like, I, I love these movies because you can tell. That Here he they, is. This is my man. You can tell the special effects people have been given a lot of leeway as far as the kind of gags and stuff. They're like, we got to kill a bunch of zombies here. And they're like, leave it to us. We'll just, well, you go set up a camera over there and we'll have something for yeah, you. Get 20. creative. I'll come back yeah. after. Oh, so oh there he is. To- that's a different. Oh, he's topless. got his. Uh, oh, that guy went for that. You know, I felt yeah. that. It looked like it hurt, actually. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was a different topless zombie than the one I saw earlier. There's been there's a lot so of fat many. topless zombies wandering around out here. Mm-hmm. Come they're, on, where's Buddy? They're riding their motorcycles through very difficult spots, dude. They have very wide open aisles and stuff like that. But then they're like doing it through little footpaths between, like. How do they know when to leave? Like what? When? What's yeah, yeah, yeah? Like what's the call? That guy's bringing a mannequin with him. Yeah, my um, own, my new old lady. I imagine it's just get all your shit. <laughs> nice nice try but there yeah. you go i wonder if he fa- him failing to sm- do it the first time they like they laughed at him they're like give me something to smash this with when they trash the mall are they still trashing uh-huh. the actual mall because it looks um, like they're really driving around this well, thing they're, I'm, they're driving around it but i mean i'm sure the stuff they're trashing is stuff that they brought in Right. Like, you know, it's like they brought in a rail Broken, or they yeah. brought in. Because, like, like, it doesn't look like any property is being damaged aside from things that they easily could have brought in themselves. Like right. the TVs and that kind of stuff, right? Bam, bam. Yeah. Oh. Oop. Come on, Tom Savini. So they're very... Is he, uh, he, he, you, you can see him a, in a lot in the characters that you see in, like, the uh, Dawn of the Dead and stuff like that. He always plays the kind of, like, yeah, like the crazy yeah. motherfucker, eh? Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Turn the fucking lights there. off. Should have done that right away. See, imagine if they all had night vision and they would did have done that. Did they this. turn the lights off or did they just go out? Um, no, like, I think, why so, did I the think somebody... Just, somebody just fucked with them and they went out? I'm pretty sure somebody turned Whoop. off the lights. See, and now they see where he went. They saw him go up there. So that's like the defeats the whole purpose of the whole. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why they wouldn't have. Cause you could think too, like well, they were thinking they were in there because they saw yeah. everything was blocked off. Yeah. You still can't assume somebody's like in yeah. there. And again, because they've been keeping all the food and stuff up with them, they could have stayed there forever yep. with their hot dog vagina. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
Yeah, that's a good picture, man. Yeah. If you're going to be trapped with any piece of art, I think mm-hmm. that might be it. Yeah. Because once, yeah, once the white people die and it's just uh, Ken Foray all by himself, it's just, it's just me and you. And he just pulls down his pants and sits across from it. And then it says like a five years later thing and like the army shows up and it's just a skeleton with his hand on his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so this scene. He died here, how he lived. Yeah. <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So we, we've got a scene he's about to go over the edge here. Which, sorry to spoil it for you, but it's I, I feel like it's fairly evident as he's standing on the ledge. Oh, somebody just went flying down the... Yeah. Well, yeah, this is like the uh, Mission Impossible elevator scene. Yeah. Oh, ah! shit. Oh, we see him. <laughs> Maybe... Oh, oh, shit. That was a good one. Getting the uh, Getting the blood, like, shoot up like that. That was a nice. Oh, oh look yeah. at this. He's doing the commando. Yeah. <laughs> well, you try. I guess you'd try everything. Again, everybody uses like weird sledgehammers and stuff like that. So, yeah, Tom Savini did this actual stunt that's Ooh. about to occur. Any minute now, it keeps not happening because like people stop him. What, what's he doing? Is it like holding him hostage? So, yeah, he goes over the, the ledge. Oh, my. I see how he like, yeah. yeah. But when he did the actual fall from the top, like they gave on him, light. no, they gave him boxes to land on. Like obviously he didn't go over the ledge into the water. You right. can see clearly he jumped forward. Oh yeah, into you the can water. see the way he went but, flying over too. But when he fell down and they like because they gave him the boxes to land on, he missed the boxes and landed back and leg first on the ground. Oh nice! So he had to do the bulk of his work from a uh, like after he did that from a golf cart. He had to drive everywhere because he couldn't walk around because he was oh, too hurt. Oh fuck a eh? yeah. Oh, they're so, leaving. I guess it's leaving time. Yeah. But did only like one person make it? And he has a Tommy gun, it seems. And why did none of the zombies grab him? They were just oh. like, oh, yeah. done, buddy. Now the zombies gotcha. He looks really calm right now for just having yeah. been shot. Well, he's in shock. I've always wanted to shoot a fucking Tommy gun. Yeah. Man. Look at that. I saw. Um, I've been looking up for things to do in Vegas because I'm going next month. To shoot a Tommy gun at a zombie one of them? Here yeah. it is. Here it is. Yeah. Look, he stops again. He already checked his blood pressure. Yeah, but it's like things have clearly hit the Like, fan look, much it's the more. same guy with the sombrero. Like, like what yeah. in the fuck was he thinking? Yeah. This gag here was completely improvised uh, when, well, when they go back to it. Uh, <laughs> they just decided, like, and that's, again, the things that they can do in these movies is they can just like, I, they're given such like, like it's like college style. We're just like, what yeah, can, what can you it. work up? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we got some stuff in the truck. We'll get something. Out I like, like that. Yeah. Oh no. It's a lot it's of like a real honest way to make a movie, you look, know, like a real those, passion. Yeah. Look at those Zach Morris phones, man. Oh yeah. He's not climbing up there. You've got a Pull. hole in your arm. Pull for, I just love that. Look yeah. at this guy. Like <laughs> so yeah, so who like, does like, Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was the scene that they just completely did. Uh, I saw somebody. Um, There's not even blood on there. I guess somebody, yeah, it. just uh, they showed you how like they do these uh, effects and stuff like that. It's it's such a cool like little setup. Obviously, the guy's arms and head are like sticking out of a thing, and it's all fake body after that. Uh, but it yeah. looks so good because uh, no, so, this was a homeless man who had his yeah. movie, his body donated to the movie. Yeah. That would be amazing. They got we gave him half a bottle of aqua yeah. velva, and he's like, "I'm in." Everybody, oh, what is that? Though? Like, mm, is that like beans silly putty? Or or? Nah, it looks like. Uh, or is that like? It's probably real, like sausage. The outside, what you know, yeah. what you call it, like a real sausage links. Yeah. Whoa, you you got. Oh, See, and again, it. this is the first time. Up. It's the first time that the zombies have had any like, like thrust. It's always been slow, slow, slow. And this why, time they all went like, blah, gotcha. Why do, you, why do you think is, you know, they, they, they say it in the one yeah. uh, zombie movie, you know, why do you eat flesh? Mm-hmm. And he says the pain of being dead. But like, yeah. do you really think if there were zombies, they'd why would they want to kill us and shit? It's what, just. What's the whole point? Like what? They just need food. But it's they're like hungry. they're back to animal instinct. They don't think. Like, that's why. In the movie, or in, like, Walking Dead and other movies and stuff, they will eat an animal. Like, you'll see, like, in Walking Dead, they all, like, tackle a deer and start eating it. Right. Because it's it's food. They know it's it's something they can eat, and it's something that, I don't know if we're going to give it some kind of fake scientific thing, uh, it would be, like, that's something that sustains their own body. Right. That, like, it's like, I'm eating protein, which then keeps my body from deteriorating. It's like, well, maybe, maybe it's even, like, my body is not, could even be almost, like... 
they don't even know it, that they're fucking pissed off. Yeah. It's like, I'm dead, you're alive, yeah. I'm going to eat you. Yeah. And eating your alive pieces slightly makes me feel more alive or something, right? I, yeah. I lost all my blood and you're eating some blood. Yeah. I don't think there's thought. Like, that's no, I, I, that's there's I don't think it's a thought. It. I think it's just, you know, it's there. It's in that animal yeah. instinct you're saying. Yeah. And that's just the, oh, and that's the, just the thing. Fucker. It's my body needs protein to keep my body from disintegrating essentially. So I'm just going to take in whatever pro the, the closest protein that I can get. If they and don't eat I each don't other they, though. Yeah. Well, because it's probably, I don't know. I don't know. See, it's only That's, live humans. Yeah. There, live things. There's got to be something to it. Maybe they don't recognize dead people as food. Maybe it, it's, maybe they see like heat signature or they can see the yeah. differently, right? They can see yeah. you glowing somehow. They've never given a zombie through the zombie they view. They see the matrix. Yeah, numbers. They see yeah. that old white guy fucking bossing everybody around. Concurrently, you will either eat the person <laughs> or kill the person. Yeah, there's Buddy's arm. <laughs> He's doing all right. What was his blood uh, pressure? Zero over zero. He has no blood pressure. Oh, no. That's a creepy thing. If you've ever seen anybody who has those artificial hearts, uh, there are certain ones that actually circulate. Like, the way they circulate blood, they don't pump it. Right. It's just like, it's almost like a fan that just like th- like just shoots it through you. Uh, actually, a friend of mine's dad had it, but uh, Dick Cheney was the first person I ever heard of who actually really? had it. And when you get it, you don't have a you don't have a heartbeat, you don't have a pulse. Yeah, you know, like or you'll have a blood pressure, but you won't have a pulse because it's not your pulse is your heartbeat. Boom, yeah, boom, boom. yeah. And now you don't have a heartbeat, so it just goes weird. Yeah, it's it's something. So you're alive, but you don't have a heartbeat. Yeah. That's well, because well, because shit right you there. don't. That's like a zombie right there, well, man. And you don't have a heart, so techno they, zombies. Oh, they did a good thing. There he is. To uh, to this day, this is still um, George Romero's favorite zombie performance. That right here. Guy. Yeah, he says it informs all zombie performance for him from this point on, and he does a great job. He is it. doing a great job, actually. And see, again, we talked about this in the in the episode too about how what has happened to them. And how fresh they are and all that. Everything affects them. If you're injured, you can't move your leg as well. Yeah, see, this guy had it down pretty good. Like, you can power through pain. Oh, she's got a freaking lollipop stuck in her hair. Yeah, you can power through pain, but you can't power through missing a chunk of your leg. Right. Right? Like, if you didn't have, you know... It'd be like if you lost both of your legs at the knee, you wouldn't just get You're up not on just your knee, stumping you, around, like, dwarf style. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> dwarf on zombies. Ooh, Tim Conway, we got oh one more for you before you God. pass. See, and oh, I, and he knows where the fucking thing is. See, he's gonna tell. Uh, this was brilliant film. I like how he's doing with his like, jaw. There. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This was good storytelling though, because like this is how do they get to find them then? And he's like, well, one of them knows. We've been talking about instinct and like yep. this deep core memory kind of thing. Yeah. The only thing is that look at Buddy still got the gun right. going, eh? Yeah, there he is. He should like right. Yeah, you're now, right. There was a the couple movie. that they they stayed. They, uh, oh, he knows. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. And the same, you think maybe he'd even mess it up, but nope, he knows they are yeah, in he's, there. He messed everything up as a human, but as a zombie, he's, he is a leader. Yeah, he's pretty on point, yeah. It's like yeah. being king of the losers, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> Fucking A, man. Ta-da. Yeah, we need to go, baby. Oh, yeah, this, this is always, every time I see the stairs, it reminds yeah. me of that Dawn of the Dead shot where they come flying around yeah. the stairs yeah. and stop. And I'm like, yeah. whoa, oh, yeah, here they come. I like that he knew immediately what happened. He's yep. just like, of course it was Steven. Leave it to Steven. <laughs> Friggin' Steven. <laughs> he should be of his own thing. Your husband is a douche. He should have showed up in every zombie one after just fuck thing. Oh, fuck, Steven, fuck. That would have been amazing. Every one of them. That's fucking Steve. Yeah. Yeah, he get, he keeps getting banished from the groups. <laughs> oh, it's don't. time to take off. Oh, she, she she knows how to fly the helicopter, right? Yes. Or does he? She does. Yeah, because her oh, boy. He's using door handles. What happened yeah. to, uh, where's Harry Krishna? I don't know. He's coming. He's got to be a fucking straggler behind in the back. Yeah. I like, close the door. This one's mine. Oh, oh I like him as a zombie. Too. You know what sucks is that they, they filmed the movie, like, I don't know if they did or not, but they filmed the movie in sequence. Then George yeah. Romero at the very end sees yeah. this guy and he's like, fuck, he <laughs> should have all been like this. Yeah. What the fuck? Cause he's just obviously yeah. just, you want to be a zombie? Yeah. Go get your face painted. You're in the background yeah. like this guy. Yeah. Now I've not read anything to back me up, but I can tell you pretty definitively. They did not shoot this in sequence. Hmm. Well, 
Look at this guy. Yeah. Shoot, Holy yeah. fuck, shooting in Shooting in sequence is like more of a director's trick than filmmaking. Right. <laughs> it's just like, it's like every now and again, somebody will do it and they're like, why? It was like, it made it much more difficult. And they're like, because that's my art. Like, yeah, it does. Cause then you got to go back to the same place yeah. that you, right. Instead of filming and it all. And you got yeah. multiple scenes in the same room. You might as well. Yeah. That take place before, after, during, right. Yeah. Well, cause then it can be lit and it can be done and then you can be finished with that room and put it back to normal and, and you're done. Have to do it again. Yeah. Just gotta have a good continuity person. That's the thing that fucks me up about me. If you were, you know, ever made a movie, yeah, filming it out of sequence seems so weird. And being like, now, like, you know, we filmed the end, and now we're in the middle, and I didn't work up to this scene, but now I have Mm -hmm. to, like, oh, you killed my kid. I have to be all like, well, they said that in um, Lord of the Rings uh, when they were like, they were like maybe a month into shooting, and then they had to do a cover scene. Because it was raining or whatever, and it was a scene from the third movie that was like this super guy going up the ladder. I know, but it was a scene from the third movie that was like super emotional, and they actually it was Elijah Wood and uh, uh, Sean Astin, and I was, and they were basically like, "We can't do this. We're not there yet. Yeah, we're not there. Like, we've not been through any of this." And they're like, "Go!" And Peter Jackson basically was like, "Go be actors. Like, yeah, you're go an ahead. actor. F- figure it out." And they sorted it out, and it was all good. yeah. They worked it out. <laughs> you want a job? You'll yeah. you'll make it work. You'll make it work. Use but those big fucking eyes. You'll squeeze a tear out. But, done. But what I like, I like when you hear hey, those buddy, stories. Hey, buddy, I got this that gun. Look, that looked like Charlie Sheen. Hey. Hold the gun. Now it looks like uh, Bruce Campbell. Depending on what angle you're How on, did it's he, different... as a zombie, make it up that ladder while also holding a gun? And pointing it at his face. Yeah, like... Oh, my God. That thing's going to bounce off a skull and he's going to be alive. <laughs> so, yeah, way too many of them. Not one of them could have climbed a ladder. I'm sorry. It's unacceptable. And why does he have, like, a little Derringer that you would find in, like, the... That one was the, for the, him. Yeah. But you, like, you find that in the... Listen to this music, too. Dun, 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 dun. But the, um, yeah, like that's the kind of gun you would find in the, like, uh, the underwear of like a old West prostitute, <laughs> yeah, exactly. like the, um, Does what's it, it called? Her, her, her garter yeah, belt the garter or something. Belt. Yeah. yeah. yeah I couldn't, I couldn't remember the name of it. Oh, when it comes to old prostitutes, I'll let you know. That, look, that one guy there, the businessman, I feel like he was like a studio executive who was like last day of filming. There's like, I want to be in the movie. Look at him go. Look at him. Yeah! Oh man, fuck? he is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ooh, two uh-huh. guns. Oh, he likes that one better. Yeah. I would have picked up that assault rifle then and just said, okay, at least I got that. <laughs> go, go, go. But they would have been way better if she would have just left <clears throat> instead. Of, like, she's he's fighting all the way through and then he gets there and she's like already like 80 feet up in the air. I'm like, sorry. take it out. I wish she was worse at it. Bring me with you. Yeah. I would make another pass where I kind of tilt the blade down like uh, in all the movies and just take him out. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think she's prepared to get that cocky. I think she's pretty much learned go up, go forward, and, yep. go, and go down. That must be uh, fucking weird driving a helicopter, man. I bet you we do better than you thought. Yeah, I just pictured when they go up, you see like the thing on the on, like the end of MASH where it's like it just embodies. It says like, we'll miss you or whatever. Honeycut. Oh, is... there it was, buddy. And they escape. And yeah. they all... Where do they go, man? Do and... they make it or what? No, they're dead. See, and that, I like that, too. They always leave that way ambiguous. It's just like, I guess that's the end of it. They're Do you fine. think they would have made it? Yeah. I think they're, I think they're going to make it. Well, I yeah. think that, I think Buddy will, in the end will make it. Yeah. The girl might not. I don't yeah. know why I say she that. Dies, I just feel like. She dies in childbirth while flying them to the ro- location <laughs> and then cr- and then crashes and kills everybody. Yeah. Um, so the music that at the beginning there, that do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Anybody who doesn't recognize that, that is the music from the end of uh, Robot Chicken. As well, they they do it. Oh, good piece of trivia. Yeah, I think a lot of people knew that, but anybody who doesn't, I did not. Well, this is why you have me. Yeah, I I recognize. I remember the first episode of Robot Chicken I saw. I recognized it immediately. Really, it was so in the back. Like this song is so in my head because I hate the music from this movie that I love so much, (laughs) and I just was like, ah, and I'm like, I know it, and it was like I could feel like the like fingering through the file cabinet in the back. Right. My mind, like, blah, 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 and like, there it is. So yeah, Dario Argento. Gets Mine's the a script. Rolodex. Nice. Yeah, Dario Argento gets the script consultant uh, credit because of. I'm surprised that like you know like people maybe people liked the music because I think it means something. Mm-hmm. 
But they should come out and just redo the music, throw some new music over top of it. Yeah. Make it creepier. That'd be an idea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? See, I like the way they used the uh I like the way they used music in the remake or in the remake too because they used light music when they needed light music right but this one even like in the most obscenely like scary part we're not scary but like tense parts it was like do 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 kind of yeah and i'm just maybe back then that was terrifying music yeah um now i the movie's over but i just i have one more question sure is i've got one more question where would you want to be? We've t- we've discussed where you might want to be, like apartment or mall or whatever. Yeah. But geographically, what where would you want to be in a zombie apocalypse? Mountains. Mountains. Hard to get to, hard to whatever. But Cold. Supplies, supplies are low. Right. So like every okay, place so has... Okay, so the best... Okay, we're thinking all of the things that would go into yeah. a place. Let's keep it to North America. But you can keep it to a very general thing because I'm thinking there's a lot of things like you can go out kind of like into the, the boonies where there's going to be less people, but there's going to be less stuff. Yeah. You know what I would do then? What's that? I would choose mm-hmm. the port of Toronto. I'd go on a boat. Yeah. And I would stock the boat, up, a big one, like a big mm-hmm. boat. Get the ferry. Yeah. Or something. And I would stock it up and I would get the people I trust and love to be on the ferry. And anytime the shit hit the fan, you just float out for a while. Come back, you know, but then you could use the mini boat, a rowboat or something to sneak, uh, you know, onto land and try and find where you can go get supplies okay. or whatever. Can I would I, pick the part of Toronto. Okay. Can I ask you a uh, serious question? Yes. How many people have to say no to joining your boat before I get invited? Uh, woo, but I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's a less. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want to throw any real set numbers down, Okay, but somewhere like the sheets up. Yeah. And then there's like the Listen wall huh? and then you're down there somewhere. Okay. I'll consider it. Oh, well, that's, I, that's all I ask. Yeah. I'm not, you know, you know, that I'm homeless not... guy I met once that made me laugh. Yeah. If he doesn't show up, you might have a shot. Okay. Whew. That means I'll, I'll be the I'll be the turd scooper. That's right. Nice. You I'll wish t- you <laughs> fucking wish you're gonna be the turd scooper. My That's ma- a pretty good job. My mouth is the literal <laughs> toilet. It's like, we can't we can't just shit on the floor. Open your mouth, dumb. Oh. It's like being in human centipede. What about, except I have a choice. <laughs> what about yourself? Where, where do you think the ideal place would be? <sighs> it's really hard. I'm thinking middle of the road population. Like we live in a place that has. Um, about yeah, 175,000 people. people. Yeah. So if you go someplace like, cause you go to a, a New York and LA or something like that, you have unlimited supply, but you Lots. also have a lot of people that you're competing against for said supply. And a lot so, of zombies. And a lot of zombies. Maybe but you Barry. go, there you go. Yeah. You go someplace like that's, you got to have a place that has stuff and has, Access. Like you got to have good roads and stuff like that. Cause again, if you've got vehicles and you're trying to get through the boonies and you're like off roading and stuff like that, you're going to you damage your vehicle. And then when you need to get out in a pinch, you can't. So it's like, you have to have something kind of in the middle. So look for kind of like mm-hmm. 150,000 people. Other people may make those decisions to go to the big places. Other people might make those decisions to go to the small places. Makes this place a small place. Right. Like that. That's how I feel now. Then and then the discussion then goes to okay, well, do you want Where? Kind of building or what? Do you okay, do? you know I agree with you on that. I'm changing mine. Okay, I want it to be. You might you may be able to find a farm that still has animals. Yeah, if you you know that would be you the survive. key. Maybe you could find alive animals and domesticate them slightly yourself. Yeah, I would go. I'm going to go with a farmhouse, a okay. farm. Yeah, that is also on the coast. But in a town like St. Catherine, so Port yeah. Dalhousie yeah. or somewhere in there, a boat yeah. and and a little farm. So you, mm-hmm. if, if shit, you know, you can get on the boat and fuck off. Yeah. All right. I'm on board with and that. And float out there. Okay. Um, we'd love to hear anybody else's ideas. We would love to want... hear anything from yeah. anybody. Yeah. You can just like, you know, you could just curse me out for saying that that guy wasn't saying racist words right as the n-word came out of his mouth uh you get you could bust you could bust me on that um you can uh but anything yeah like if you guys have an idea of where you would want to survive or how you think would be best to survive email us podcast miscast commentary.com uh or joe at miscast commentary.com todd at miscast commentary.com mm-hmm. i'm uh, actually at uh, make him say uh 
na 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 na. Yeah. That's for all you Master P zombie fans out yeah. there. And that's I am. The, that's the zombie anthem. And I am like, you know, when the guy stabs the uh, zombie in the ear with the uh, yes. thing, I go, here comes the brand new flavor. <laughs> Craig Mack, the brand new flavor. That is ear. new flavor. But, you get uh, stabbed with something in the air. Yeah, I never yes. understood that. I'm like, what? I was, I was like, what is what's supposed to taste like? Ketchup. Yeah. I know he's talking sounds and beatitudes, but beatitudes. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So uh, email us or find us on uh, Twitter uh, at Miscast Podcast. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Just search Miscast Commentary. I, we're pretty easy to find once you do that. Um, like us there. Uh, make Love sure, us there. Make sure to uh, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. It helps everywhere where we are located on iTunes and all that kind of good stuff. Helps boost us up, gets us more listeners. Helps me too get uh, out of that funk. Everybody tell a friend. Tell them to listen once. Tell them to listen to this one or tell them one that they can go back and listen right. to. And then say, wait, it gets good again after that. We <laughs> should be like a zombie plague. We should be catching on. Yeah. We're spreading. In the worst way. We're spreading. We're oh, still we're just ruining. We're still in the Bay Area. We're still Bay we're Area. Fucking... They could not be our our the bulk of our listeners could not be further away from us on our content. Beautiful. Invite it's us to your good. next barbecue. We're coming. Fuck, <laughs> we're already there. You have you have no idea. We'll show up. You damn right we will. But especially the, uh, if you got free fucking something. Yeah. Exactly. Buns like you bring the buns. No, 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 no. I'll bring the buns. Yeah. And then we'll eat your meat. I'll bring a hot dog vagina. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys Isn't that's that the good. name of a limp biscuit album <laughs> probably <laughs> what was that chocolate starfish and the hot, hot dog, dog flavored, flavored water, water. <laughs> nice yeah we were born we were, we were 90s kids um all right guys that's it for this week uh catch us next week we're gonna announce the next movie and we'll talk about the usual bullshit uh you know not like we've been doing today <laughs> yeah. um but thank you <laughs> I I don't know. I, I'd <laughs> I'd, apo- I'd apologize, but then I'd get sad. Yeah. All right. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next week. Later. Make them say, mm. with the brand new flavor in your ear. <laughs>